It looks like Blue has taken the strategy of placing all of the... Blue has taken the strategy of placing all the tribals in the lane so they can then push it down across. And Blue has successfully pushed uh, a large number of tribals into their side, but there's still very few in each goal. We have a completely full field with tribals all ready to potentially be pushed into the into the goals. It's just a matter of which teams can actually get their tribals into the goal. It looks like the red robot uh, 10054T is now stuck in the corner, uh, not moving. Oh, they continue. They have now continued to uh, load the tribals. On the opposite side, the other red robot is trying to score in the into their goal, but they're having a little bit of difficulty. It's looking like Blue has so far scored many more tribals into their goal. It is now time for um, for the elevation period, except I don't, except it seems like none of the robots here have any uh, mechanisms in order to elevate. So they have, they're continuing to score into the goals. On to qualification match two. Autonomous be begins in three, two, one, go. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Three, two, one, go. Okay, all four robots seem to have an autonomous in this match, and Blue has successfully scored both of their both tribals into the uh, both of their alliance tribals into the, each goal. However, it seems like the blue robot might have crossed into the red uh, goal for this match, so it may cause them to lose the autonomous. Blue wins autonomous, on to driver controls, starting in 3, 2, 1, go. It looks like the blue robot 38247C is starting to match load in the corner, and they have a very strong match loader, which is throwing the, the tri balls all the way across the field. On the opposite side, the red robot 38247D is doing the same. Uh, we have 1096B scoring to the blue goal, goal with their wings, and, uh, and 65AAA scoring to the red robot uh, with their intake. So far, it seems like Blue has more tribals in their goal, and it also appears as though the, the team 38247C has now been disabled, leaving only three robots in this match. We'll, we'll see if the one red, the, the blue robot can beat these two red robots in this one versus two matchup. Nope. So far, Blue has more, more tri tribals in their goal, but it's, it's looking very close in this match. There also seems to be more uh, tribals scored into the red zone, so it's going to be a very close match. The Blue traverses over to the field, over to the opposite side of the field, looking to potentially help their partner. 
It is now the last 30 seconds, so red, red can. So the, both, so the teams may be looking to elevate. However, red is currently blocking blue, which may become a minor violation. Okay, beginning qualification match three. Autonomous period begins at three, two, one, go. Looks like one blue robot and one red robot has an autonomous, except the red robot appears to be set uh, sideways, so the wheels are touching the field wall. Um, uh, blue wins auto because uh, driver control start in three, two, one, go. So on the blue lines for this match, we have 1096D and 6588C. And on the red alliance, we have 1096C and 72751E. It looks like the blue robot, 1096D, is scoring tri balls across the field using their, their match lows. However, they have now shot outside of the field. On the both red robots, the two red robots have now chosen to double zone so they can score more tri balls into their, into their side. Blue continues to uh, score, to, sh to match load uncontested and they have now gone through all of their match loads. The other red robot 6588C is looking to score all the tri balls into the goal for those extra three points each. One red robot appears to be, have gone stuck on the goal, leaving only one red ro robot moving around the field. The other blue, the two blue robots have now chosen to double zone, looking to score extra into their zone. And the red robot 1096C has now lined up to start their match loading. However, so far it seems somewhat inconsistent. With tri balls going more up than they are, going up more than they are going across. And 1096D has a super position to block the 1096 alliance tri balls. 65AAC continues to score tri balls into the, into the goal, looking to, looking to get all those extra points. The red robot has now given up on, match, on doing their match loads and is looking to score into their goal. Both blue robots are trying to get all the, the, the tri balls that they brought to their side of the field using match loads and then to get them into the goal. <laughs> And 
And we have the results from qualification match one. The Blue Alliance won 104 to 50. We just like to ask that all parents uh, who are spectating the match, if you're, please do not stand in front of the field because you're blocking ever all the spectators behind you. We'd rather you just sit in the stands. In this match, qualification match four, on the blue lines we have 10, 10054G, and 38247A. And on the red lines we have 7830K and 30372A. We'll begin shortly, we're just having a, some slight technical difficulties. Okay, the issue is now resolved. Autonomous, well, autonomous period begins in 3, 2, 1, go. It looks like uh, one red robot and one blue robot has autonomous. Uh, the red robot was successful in getting the, the tri ball into the goal, but it appears they have, may have crossed the plane. The blue robot was unsuccessful in getting their tri ball into the goal. Red wins autonomous, driver control starting in three, two, one, go. Okay, it appears 7830K has gone to the corner, is looking to match load all the way across the field, and then the opposite corner, 38247A, is also looking to match load across the field. The remaining blue and red robots are each looking to then take those tri balls and score them into the goal. So far, only, only the blue robot has begun match loading, and the red robot the red robot has now began match loading. So now it becomes a matter of who can actually get these tri balls across the field and into the goal. Both robots seem to be very consistent about actually getting the tri ball over the, the bar in the middle. As they have very, they both have objects with very strong flywheel design. Now both blue robots are looking to score to their goal. Red has just finished their, their match loading as well. And now both red and blue have opted to double zone in order to get their score, in order to score into their goal. There are, there are many tri balls still available across the field, so it'll come down to who can actually, who can take those tri balls and get those in, them into the goal. Blue, the blue robot has now opted to come over to the red side, potentially looking to de-score if they continue to double zone. It, it is now the elevation period, so any team who is, 
was looking to elevate, now has protection. Blue opted to shoot one more uh, match load, and is now uh, looking to score into the goal. On, on the red side of the field, we have two red robots and one blue robot, meaning the blue robot does have the option of de-scoring if their robot has that capability. Now, all four robots are now on the blue, on the red side of the field looking to uh, contest the tribals in the final few seconds. The match results from qualification match three. The blue alliance has beat the red alliance 76 to 45. On to qualification match five. On the blue alliance, we have two ACP teams, 7830C and 7830P. And on the red alliance, we have 10054A and that 99500A. All teams are ready. Autonomous begins at 3, 2, 1, go. It looks like b both blue robots and one red robot have an autonomous. And the red robot seems to be taking, have a complicated autonomous that grabs multiple tri balls and gets into the goal. But they seem to have just missed on both of those tri balls. Blue wins autonomous. Driver control begins in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, in the blue corner we have 7830P looking to uh, match load all the way across the field. And in the opposite corner on red we have 0054A looking to match load. However, they, it appears they have now left the bar. It seems as though 99500A is, is looking to score in the opposite corner. And 7830C is looking to interrupt the match loading of 1054A. 7830P has completed their match loading and is now looking to score uh, score into the blue goal along with their, their partner 7830C. 1055, 1054A goes back to the match load bar, but it appears their match loader can't make it all the way across the field, so they're going to bring the match load across the field using their drive train. The blue alliance has now opted to double zone in order to increase their, their scoring potential, but it runs the risk of getting these scored. On the right side, red, uh, the 9950A continues to try to score, and 7830P has come to the red alliance side to take the tri balls and bring them back over to their side. 1054A is looking to block all the, the blue, the blue from bringing the tri balls across, and instead push them back to the red side. So far, it seems like blue has been much more successful in getting the uh, tri balls into their, into their side. Red is lining up as if they may be looking to match load, however 7830C is, is also is still continues to look to block them. Oh. On the opposite side, 7830P continues to try to steal tri balls and come back to the blue side. 1054A has successfully brought one. Oh, time's up. 
Okay, on to qualification match six. Thomas begins in three, two, one, go. It looks like once again both blue robots have an autonomous and one of the red robots has an autonomous. However, the red autonomous seems to have gotten them stuck in onto the bar. Like this. Blue wins blue wins autonomous. Driver control starting in three, two, one, go. It looks like 7830N is looking to score all the way across the field using their flywheel. And 10054C is also looking to do the same. However, they see, appear to be hesitating because they, their robot is disconnected. On the, uh, in terms of scoring, we have uh, 38247B looking to score the blue tri balls. And both red robots have appeared, appear to have gone to the red side to score. 10054C has now gone back, gone back to uh, contest the scoring of the Blue Alliance. Blue, having launched all their match loads across the field, is, are now look, have now double zone, looking to score more tri balls into their goal. So far, it seems like Blue has a clear lead, having having significantly more tri balls in their goal. Both red robots have now gone to the red side, also looking to score all the tri balls in that in their on their side into the goal. Blue, both the blue robots have almost finished scoring uh, scoring their tri balls into the goal, leaving an almost full blue goal. It seems like most of the tri balls on the field have now been used up, as red did not end up launching any of their match loads over to the other side, leaving a very limited supply of tri balls available for the match. The blue, we, we have 7830N looking to get the first hang of, of the tournament, but it appears they have gotten themselves stuck and have fallen over, unable to get those, uh, those 20 elevation points. That concludes the qualification match six. On to qualification match seven. On the red alliance, we have the uh, alliance of two paint teams, 1096A and 1096E. On the blue alliance, we have 10054B and 99500B. All teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. It appears like both red robots have an autonomous to score their alliance tri ball into the goal, and the blue alliance has pushed uh, their alliance tri ball across the field. Red can, red's autonomous continues scoring more tri balls into their goal. However, they just missed. Red wins autonomous. Uh, driver control in three, two, one, go. It appears that 99500B of the Blue Alliance is looking to score from their corner, and in the opposite corner, 1096A of the Red Alliance is also looking to match load across the field. Both robots have flywheels, and so far have been able to get them significantly far across, uh, have been able to clear the match load tower. Now it comes down to whether the teams can actually take those tri balls and score them into their goals. It seems Red Alliance has finished match loading and is now playing defense on the 
on, ten zero, on the blue 10 0 0 5 4 B, who's looking to score their, their tri balls into the goal. 9500 B continues to, uh, to match load. However, there's it's some, there's some amount of inconsistency in their match loading. 1096 E has successfully taken uh, most of the red the red match loads and pushed them, put them into the goal, leaving red with a significant lead so far in this match. Uh, on the opposite side, the other red robot now looks to push to take tri balls and push them back to the red side, and the blue robot is looking to score into their goal. 1096 E has almost completely filled their goal. 99500B appears to be looking to uh, to stop them, but it appears they are having a, a drivetrain issue, leaving them unable to move uh, move in the way that they they would like to. Um, on the on the opposite side, we now see we see the the red robot looking to push all of all of the remaining tri balls across the field. However, the blue the blue ro this blue robot has is now looking to push them back towards the blue side of the field. Uh, the, the, the matches, the results from qualification match five are out. Uh, the Blue Alliance wins an incisive victory with 116 points to Red Alliance's 39 points. On to qualification match eight. On the red alliance, we have 2627E and 99067X. And on the, the blue alliance, we have the, uh, both 72751A robots with 72751A and C. All four teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. It appears both the Red Alliance robots have autonomous. However, only one of them successfully managed to score a tri ball into the goal. But that will li mean that Red will li likely win us the autonomous bonus. Red wins autonomous. Driver control begins in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, tactical difficulties. Driver control begins in three, two, one, go. Okay. It appears all four robots are are all looking to push the tri existing tri balls through the field. None of them appear to be match loading just yet. The red robots have opted to double zone to continue their scoring. Or, however, 99067 has moved across the field to avoid that double zoning penalty. So far, it seems like the red. The Red Alliance has been successful in taking the tribals and getting them into their goal. Having cleared the field, the Red Alliance is now looking to match load. 27E is in the corner with, a, with their catapult. So far, most of the teams have uh, had flywheels, so it's interesting that they that this team has chosen to go with, for the catapult design instead. It seems like their catapult is made it extremely consistent, and most of the tribals are making it across the field. It appears that one of the blue robots has been disabled because their battery has fallen off. The two red robots have now opted to double zone to score the, the tri balls that they had just match loaded into the goal. And it appears the other, the, the blue robot on the other side, the one remaining blue robot, is, um, is having some difficulties getting to the other side of the field. They continues to take the tri balls on the blue side of the goal, blue side of the field, and bring them to their side. So far, we haven't. We have red is likely winning because they have a full a full goal to blue's mostly empty goal. It is now the elevation period, but it appears no, none of the teams are looking to elevate in this match. 
Oh, red at the very end. Red goes for a goes for a hang, but falls off at the last moment. On to qualification match 9. On the red alliance we have 99067T and 99500G. On the blue alliance we have 7830K and 72751E. All four teams are ready. Autonomous begins in 3, 2, 1, go. It appears one red robot and one blue robot has uh, have Autonomous. And have each scored their tr their alliance tribal into the red goal. So it may be a, a, a tie autonomous depending on the ruling. Hi Autonomous, moving on to driver control in 3, 2, 1, go. Go. It appears the, the blue robot 7830K has lined up to do their match loads with a, with a flywheel. On the opposite side, 99067T is doing the same. We'll see who has the, the better match loading. The other two, the other two robots are looking to then take those tri balls and score them into the goal. So far, the the red flywheel seems to be launching the tri balls very high into the air, but most of them are going across. On the other hand, 7830K's tri uh, flywheel appears to be launching them very, str uh, very strongly vertically, and although some of them are hitting the bar, most of them are also making it across. 99500D looks to be looking to block. However, 7830K has finished their match loading. With both teams finished with match loading, they're they're now looking to all score th these tri balls into the field. On the on the blue side, we have 7830K and 72751E both looking to score. Except it seems like 7830K is having more success. On the opposite side, we have 99657T and 99500G, but. With blue double zoning, red now has the potential to, to de-score the, the tri balls into blue alliance gold. However, it seems that the robot may not be able to. So they are instead looking to take the tri balls from the blue side and move it to the red side, while their partner 99067T scores them into the goal. So far, it seems like red has uh, significantly more uh, tri balls in the goal, meaning they will probably win this match.
Moving over to qualification match 10. On the red alliance, we have 7830A and 7830N. And on the blue alliance, we have 30372A and 38247D. It appears the red robot 7830N is just finish up, finishing setting up the robot, and then the match will begin. It seems as though they have made a tool to help them set their robot consistently in each match. All four teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. It seems like both red robots had a have an autonomous just for their alliance tribals, as well as one of the blue robots. Unfortunately for the blue alliance, it appears as though uh, their alliance tribal has not been scored in the goal because only one corner is within the goal. Red wins autonomous. Dr driver control begins in three, two, one, go. Uh, in the blue corner, we have 38247D looking to looking to uh, match load. However, 7830N w was looking at potentially blocking them. On the red alliance, we have 7830N also looking to match load. However, they are uncontested. The blue the other blue robot, rather than contest, has opted to try to score all of the tribals that are being launched across the field. On the Red at 7830A continues to opt to try to block them, but now has switched to scoring. The Blue Alliance has now uh, has now got returned back to match loading after 7830A moved. 7830A has resumed their, their blocking. It appears the other red robot, 7830N, has gotten stuck on a tribal ball and are looking to get, get themselves out. Their, their alliance, 7830A, was successful in helping them out of, the, of a sticky situation. Blue Lions has resumed match loading. However, they continue to get blocked by 7830A. The other red robot 7830N is now looking to score all of the tri balls into the, into the goal. Uh, the Blue Alliance robot 77, oh, sorry, 3247D has been scoring all match. And now the two blue robots have opted to double zone to get more, uh, to score even more tri balls into the goal. We have both teams, both alliances looking to score as many as they can in their goal by double zoning at this moment. Elevation period has now begun, so teams may be looking to elevate. Maybe here's the red robot, uh, 7830N has, is looking to elevate. However, we'll see if they will be able to. It appears they've fallen down and are unable to elevate. We have... Uh, Okay, on to qualification match 11. All four teams are ready. Driver control, be oh, sorry. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. It appears all four robots in this in this match have autonomous, with with red looking to score their tri ball. However, because blue has crossed over the line into the opposite side of the field, blue has already won a the autonomous bonus. Oh, sorry, red, sorry, red has already won the autonomous bonus. Driver control begins in three, two, one, go. It appears that the blue robot 1096C is looking to uh, match load using their their flywheel. However, their flywheel, their strategy, their flywheel seems to be built to launch the tribals extremely high up into the air. On the other side, on the red alliance, they are also looking to, to ma use their match loads to get tribals across the field. That's robot 38247A. Um, the other two robots on red and blue are both looking to score those tri balls that their alliance partners are launching across the field and then get them into the goals. It appears the blue alliance has now completed their match loading and red alliance is soon to follow. Now it's a, now it's a matter of getting all of these tri balls that are stuck around the field and actually pushing them into the goals. 
Blue has opted to, du to double zone so they can all score. Well, Red has opted to stay on, on the blue side, have one robot on the blue side, to play defense and push balls over to the red side. The red, uh, the red robot 1096E has gone uncontested in scoring tri balls, so they've been able to. They've been much more successful in getting those tri balls into the into the goal. On the blue side, they continue to double zone, but because red already took most of the tri balls over to the other side, they have very few tri balls left to actually put into their goal. It seems so far in this match, red is winning because they have significantly more tri balls in their goal. It is. The elevation period has now begun, is now approaching, and it, but it, it seems like no, none, of, none of the four teams have a mechanism with which to align to, to elevate. So they're all looking to just continue scoring in the final few seconds of this match. Seems both red robots in this in qualification match 12 are having technical difficulties. Okay, both red robots have now gone on the field. Hopefully their technical issues have been fixed. On the on the on the red alliance we have 1096B and 72751C. And they're versing the blue alliance who have 1096A and 10054A. All four teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. It seems like one red robot and one blue robot have uh, autonomous, both looking to score their alliance tri ball. And the, the blue robot, 1096A, has lined up to begin match building as soon as the match begins. Both, both alliance tri ball did not make it into the goal, so it is at autonomous time. Driver control begins in three, two, one, go. Blue Alliance has gone straight into match loading. 1096A is launching tri balls with all the way across the field with their, their flywheel. It seems 1096B was looking to is looking to match load, but their robot is not moving at the moment. On the um, the other two robots uh, for the both the red and the blue alliance are looking to then take to take tri balls and push them into the goal. Blue has now uh, with their super fast match loading have completed match loading and are now looking to play defense on the red robot. They're pushing the tri balls over to the to the blue. To their, to their side, where their alliance partner can then can then take their can then take the tri balls and score them into the goal. Unfortunately for Red Alliance, it seems like 1096B is is unable to move, leaving leaving 72751C to 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 one v one versus two the Blue Alliance. Now both the Blue robots have both Red robots have stopped moving, unfortunately, leaving the two Blue robots free to score as many tri balls as they wish. The red robot has 1096B has suddenly started moving, and they are now match loading all the way across the field. 
However, uh, 1096A is playing defense against them, trying to stop them from getting those match loads. It's 10054A remains on the on the red side of the field, looking to potentially push those tribals that are being launched across back over to the blue side. 1096A stopped playing defense and has now opted to score in their goals. 1096B has finished match loading and is now lo looking to push all the tribals on the blue side back over to their side. They have moved. They have now moved over to their side, looking to score all the tribals that they just launched over into their goal as their alliance partner is disabled. <laughs> We have the results from qualification match 11. Uh, Red Alliance wins a decisive victory, 159 to 60. On to qualification match 13. On the red alliance, we have 6588C and 99500B. On the on the blue alliance, we have a team of two Desert Ridge teams, 99067T and 99067X. The blue robot, the red alliance is just finishing setting up their robots, and then we'll begin the match. Seems Red has just about finished up setting up their robot and will be starting the match as as soon as they get return to their line station. All four teams are finally ready. Beginning an autonomous, autonomous period in three, two, one, go. It seems all four robots in this match have a, autonomous, but only only so far the blue robot has been able to get their tribal into the goal, their alliance tribal into the goal. Blue wins autonomous driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. 99067T has now lined up to do match loading, and on the opposite side, 99500B 
has also lined up to do ma match loading. So far, only the red has, has started their match loading. However, not. However, they're being uh, defended by the blue alliance 99067X. Now, 99067T for the, of the blue alliance have, have started their match loading, but they're also being defended by, by the opposite team. Blue, blue has opted to double zone, looking to take the tribals and take the tribals on the red side and bring them back over to the blue side. Red has finished their their match loading and are now looking to go over to their side and score and score as many as they can in the goal. Or no, they have they they have changed their minds and are now looking to score to, to take the the tribals that are on the red side uh, on the blue side and move them over to the red side. Um, 96670T comes storming in to block. Uh, the red alliance from moving the tribals out of their side. They're looking to to take these keep these tribals on their side and then score them into the goal. So far, so far teams have been about even with um, a good amount of tribals in both in both teams' goals. We have both blue alliance robots on on the blue side, having double zoned to score into the to score as many as they can into the goal. While uh, Red Alliance op has opted to do uh, a split strategy with one robot on each side. It appears 99067T has gotten themselves stuck on the middle bar and will be. Oh! It appears they have. They may or may not be stuck. None of the robots have opted to elevate in this match. We now have the results of qualification match 12. It was a close match with Blue Lines winning by with a score of 90 to Red Alliance of 74. Moving on to qualification match 14, on the Red Alliance we have 10054B and 38247C. On the Blue Alliance we have 7830C and 10054E. All four teams are ready. Uh, dry, autonomous period beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. It appears one. It appears both blue robots have autonomous, while only one red robot has autonomous. However, it, all, it appears as though the blue autonomous has scored uh, a tribal into the red goal. May have scored a, a, a tribal into the red goal, hurting their, their chances of winning autonomous. Red wins autonomous, driver control beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, on the red alliance, 38247C has lined up to start match loading and they're doing it extremely quickly. 7830C has now has now began their match loading with their their catapults. It, it appears as though uh, 10054E is trying to stop 38247C from match loading, but three, the Red Alliance has now finished their match loading. Um, the Blue Alliance has opted, to, has opted to stop match loading in favor of trying to push tribals over to their side of the field. So far, it seems like there are significantly more tribals on the blue side of the field, but Red has scored more in the goal zone as of, so, as of this time in the match. Red has opted to now double zone to score all the tribals on their side of the field into the goal. Blue has also opted to, du to double zone, trying to score all the tribals into their goal. We'll see who crosses back to the opposite side first to try to steal the tribals back to their side. It seems like 10054E is looking to cross over, but they are, but they are so far been unable to. The Red Alliance has now brought uh, one of their robots over to, to the Blue Alliance side to take Tribals back over to their side of the field. Blue. Now we have a... 
and now both, both teams are back to double zoning. It, it is the final 10 seconds of the match, meaning teams will be protected if they choose to elevate. However, no team seems to be looking to elevate so in this match.
We had some scoring difficulties, but now we're on to qualification match 15. On the red alliance, we have 6588B, and on the and 72751A. On the blue alliance, we have 7830P and 10054C. All teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in 3, 2, 1, go. It appears both blue robots have autonomous. However, only one of them successfully got the, their tri-ball into, into the goal. However, that, but that will probably be enough to win, win the autonomous bonus. Assuming they did not cross into the plane of the, of the, the goal. Blue wins autonomous. Driver control be, starting in 3, 2, 1, go. The red, on the blue lines, 7830P has lined straight up for match loading. Neither, it appears neither of the red robots has, has the ability to match load, so they will both be looking simply to push tri-balls. One red robot is on the red side of the field looking to push tri-balls straight into their, their goal, while the other red robot is looking to take the tri-balls the blue just launched and bring them back over to their side. Blue quickly finishes finished launching and is now going over, is going back over to, to their side of the field to, so they can score all the tri-balls they just scored, they, they, just, they just loaded. It, is, it appears Blue is trying to traverse over the middle bar, but has so far been unsuccessful. The red robots continue their strategy of having one robot score and one robot push, uh, push tri-balls to their side of the field. But so far only a, a few tri-balls have been scored on their side. Blue Lions has also taken up the same strategy, leaving 10054C to score into the blue zone and leaving uh, 7830P to push tribals over to the over to the blue side. So far, it seems like there's very few tribals in the goal, in in the goal, but most most of the tribals are on the blue side of the field. The blue, uh, one blue robot and one red robot appear to have now been entangled in wiring. It is unclear what will happen. They are now no longer entangled, so, so they have now gone back to their original strategies of trying to score. <laughs> We have the, um, the results from qualification match for 41 back, and it's a nail biter. Blue Alliance won 81 to 80, winning by just a margin of just one singular point. Moving on to qualification match 16, on the red alliance we have 2627E and 10054D. On the blue alliance we have 6588A and 99500D. Thank you. 
After a slight rules disagreement, it appears all, all four teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. It appears uh, one red robot and one blue robot have autonomous, but so far only the red robot has been successful in scoring tri balls into the goal. The red robot's autonomous has now appeared to stop. Red wins autonomous. Driver control in three, two, one, go. Oh, I missed. It. Sorry. Three, two, one, go. Red appears to have double zoned immediately, looking to stop blue from scoring. The blue robot 99500D is is now launching uh, tribals across their field with their flywheel, taking their match loads and putting them on the opposite side of the field. It appears the other, the red robot has come to come to their to the red side of the field to stop the blue robot and to score tri balls in their tri balls into their goal. On the opposite side of the field, we have uh, the red robot 100554G looking to put tri balls over to the red side, and the and the blue robot 65AAA looking to push into their goal. So far, the field is pretty sparse, with neither team match having done a significant amount of match loading. 2627 Ian has on the of the red side has now lined up to match load. It seems like that their catapult match loader is extremely consistent. They've chosen to take up the strategy of launching just a few match loads to begin and then pushing them all in. They'll probably go back to their match loader to do more match loads after. 99500 g has also resumed match loading. And it seems like their their goal is to try to get rid of to throw out all their match loads before they start um, pushing the, the tri balls. The red robot, the two red robots have double zone on the blue side of the field, looking to stop the the blue robot from scoring. It seems like the red robot and the blue robot have now gotten entangled and are now both disabled. This leaves only. I, it, it turns out they're actually no, they're unable to move, but they are not disabled. They're trying to uh, get each each other unstuck from each other, but they were unsuccessful. We have the match results from qualification match 15 with the blue alliance winning 77 to 32.
Moving on to qualification match 17. On the red alliance, we have 1096D and 38247B. And on the blue alliance, we have 72751D and 99500A. All four teams are ready. Autonomous period begins. All four. All four. Uh, sorry. Now all. Now all four teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. These both red robots have autonomous, along with the one blue robot. So far, one red, uh, one red tribal appears to be scored. However, it may not be within the the bounds of the goal. Red, red wins the autonomous bonus. Driver control begins in three, two, one, go. On the red side of the field, we have three, eight, two, four, seven. On the blue side of the field, we have the red team three, eight, two, four, seven, be lining up to, to match those their goals. It appears like the blue alliance does not have any robot which is looking to match load, and our both robots are instead intending to push the tribals. One blue robot is scoring their their tribals into the field, while the other blue robot pushes the tribals that are being launched to their side of the, the red side of the field back to the blue side of the field. So, it appears as one of, as though one of the blue robots has gotten stuck on the on the on the red goal and will, is unable to move. Red continues to launch their tri tri tribals across the field and are getting to their last few. Having finished launching tribals, the red alliance is now looking to take the tribals, take as many tribals as they can over to the red side as they're moving over to the red side to then score. It seems like on this, the red alliance has opted to double zone, looking to score as many as they can into this goal. While blue continues to have one robot on one side and the other robot on the other side. It seems like the, one of the blue robots has gotten itself stuck on the red goal again, leaving both red robots free to score as many as they want in the goal. However, it appears that one of the red robots accidentally uh, boost, accidentally got the blue robot unstuck, and now both blue robots are moving across the field. We see on the on the blue side of the field only the blue robot remains, so they're uncontested in scoring tribals into the goal. On the other side, both red robots are looking to score, while the while the one blue robot is looking to stop them from scoring. Moving into qualification match 18, it, it appears all four robots are ready. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. Two red robots and one blue robot have a, have autonomous, but so far only the blue robot has been successful in scoring into the goal. On the blue alliance we have 7830A and 72751C, and on the red alliance we have 7830C and 99500C. The red team has crossed the line, meaning the blue automatically wins autonomous. Driver control begins in three, two, one, go. The, the, blue, the red robot 99500B is lining up to, to batch load uh, with their flywheel. On the opposite side, the blue team 7830A has also lined up to begin match loading. The other blue robot appears to be looking to get to the blue side of the field, but is being blocked by 7830C who are also simultaneously trying to stop the match loading of 7830A. Um, on the opposite corner of the field, 99500B continues to match load completely uncontested. However, it see, appears many of their match loads ended up on the blue side. So far, 7830A has now moved to the blue, the red side, the blue side of the field, looking to take all those tribals and put that, push them into the goal. 99500B has finished match loading and is now looking to stop 7830A from scoring. However, unfortunately, uh, 99500B is now stuck on a tribal in the middle of the field, leaving only the one red robot to contest. 7830C, the remaining red robot, continues to try to score tribals into their goal, and 
So far, there's about the same number of tri balls in each goal. So far, the uh, one of the blue robots is looking to stop 7830C from scoring, while the other one is looking to score in their goal. 7830C has now looked is now looking to unstuck their alliance partner. However, they have been so far unsuccessful. It's now the last 10 seconds of the match. It'll be interesting to see if any of the robots try to get an elevation. It appears none of them do, and they're looking to get a final few try balls into the goal before the end of the match. We have the match results from qual qualification match 17 with Red, Red Alliance winning decisively 73 to 27. Now on to qualification match 19. On the Red Alliance we have 6588B and 72751E. On the Blue Alliance we have uh, 1096E and 99067X. All teams are ready. Autonomous period begins at 3, 2, 1, go. It seems only the one blue robot has autonomous, but they it appears to not have done anything. The other blue robot has now begun on autonomous. However, it only, um, it only managed to push their alliance tribal. However, that might be enough to win autonomous in this match. Blue indeed does win autonomous. Uh, autonomous bonus driver control begins in 3, 2, 1, go. The Blue Alliance robot 99067X is, is now lining up to, to launch tribals across their, the field with their flywheel. On the, opposite, on the opposite team, it seems like neither red robot has a, currently has a mechanism to launch, launch tribals, so they'll both be looking to simply push tribals in this match. The, the remaining Blue Alliance robot 1096E is, is using their intake to push, uh, to push tribals into their goal one at a time. Uh, the other blue robot has finished match loading and is now looking to take uh, the, the tri balls that they missed and push them over over to the blue side from the red side. While the while the red robot 6588B is looking to stop them and score in their goal. I see the other red robot 72751E is stuck in the middle of the field, leaving leaving 65AA to one beach one versus two the remaining blue robots. So far blue has Significantly more tribals in their field, and are uh, and have the lead in this match. They are then they are now looking to expand on that lead, launching the remaining match loads over to the other side of the field. The one red robot continues to try to score, except it appears a tribal is stuck in the robot. Blue has now blue has now gotten their their goal more than halfway filled, and red red appears to be struggling to get the tribal out of their robot. It's now nearing the end of the match. However, it seems none of these four robots have a, have any mechanism to elevate themselves. So they will continue to score in the final few seconds of the match. Moving on to qualification match. Oh. Here's we're not ready for the next qualification match as the previous match is still being scored. Now ready. Now onto qualification match 20. On the red alliance we have 1096B and 72751B. On the blue alliance we have 6227E and 99067T.
All teams are ready. Autonomous period begins at 3, 2, 1, go. It appears one red robot and two blue robots have, uh, are, have autonomous for this match, and blue currently has the lead, having scored two tri balls into their own goal, while red only scored their one alliance tri ball into the blue, into the blue goal. Blue wins autonomous bonus driver control in three, two, one, go. It seems like the the red robot 1096DB has lined up to begin match loading and are now match loading all of their and now doing all of their match loads. The red, um, sorry, the blues, the blue teams have opted not to do any match loading so far and are instead simply scoring all the the tri balls they see on the field. They have now moved to match loading. 99067T has lined up and has begun using their flywheel to match load. They did a few match loads and are now looking to push tribals from the blue side, from the red side over to the blue side, which they can then use to score. So far, blue has been successfully able to score more tribals than red, so they currently have the lead in this match. Uh, both teams have opted not to double zone and have one robot on each side, with one with one robot looking to push tribals to their side and the other robot looking to score. Blue, Blue has gone, returned to match loading using their flywheel with the other Blue robot looking to take those, take those match loads and score them straight into the goal. The two red robots have now double zoned looking to, looking to get extra scoring out. However, the Blue robots have also double zoned on the red side, leaving all four robots on one side. Um, 2627E of the Blue Alliance has now moved back to the Blue side and continues to the score. Their goal is now almost full, so they they are very likely to win this match. It's now time for the elevation period, except it appears none of the four teams are actually looking to elevate so far. We have the match results from qualification match 18, with the Blue Lions winning by 20 points, 87 to 67. Moving on to qualification match 21, on the red alliance we have 10054C and 38247C. On the blue alliance we have 30372A and 99500A. Teams are just finishing setting up the robot, and then, and then we'll begin this match. Okay, all four teams are ready. Um, uh, Autonomous uh, period begins in three, three, two, one, go. It seems both red robots and one blue robot has an autonomous, but only red has so, has so far been successful in scoring, scoring a tri ball. 
Red wins autonomous bonus. Driver control begins at three, two, one, go. The, the red robot 38247C has lined up immediately to begin match loading. On the opposite side, 99500A is match loading, but it appears they are not touching the match loading bar. The red alliance with their super quick shooter is almost finished match loading. And having finished, they are now going to look to score tri balls. Well, the red robot, the red alliance has opted to double zone, looking to score as many tri balls into their goal as possible. As so far, most of the tri balls are already on their side of the field. The blue alliance uh, robot is looking to score into the goal. Uh, both blue alliance robots are now going over to the blue side looking to score. However, it seems like 99500A might, may be too tall to cross over to the, the blue side of the field. Red continues to double zone, scoring as many tri balls as they possibly can. Now Red has opted to, to, to send one robot to the opposite side of the field to bring as many tri balls as they can over to the red side. They have they successfully used uh, the lanes on the side to bring four tri balls across the field and then score them into the goal. Blue, the blue robot 303 3037, 72A has gone largely uncontested and has scored some amount of tri balls into the goal. However, the two red robots have collectively scored uh, significantly more than the blue side. The results for qualification match 20 are out, with Blue Alliance winning its highest of victory 154 to 48. On to qualification match 22. On the red alliance, we have 10054B and 38247A. On the blue alliance, we have 1096D and 72751A. 
All four teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. One robot on each of the sides has autonomous, but neither. But both teams have only been able to slightly to get the the tribal slightly into the goal. However, both appear to be scored. Autonomous tie. Moving on to driver control in three, two, one, go. Uh, on the red alliance, three, eight, two, four, seven, A is looking to is looking to do match loads. However, one zero nine six B is using their four bar in order to block them from match loading. So the red robot has opted to to move away from match loading. The other two robots are unable to match load. We have. The blue robots have opted to double zone, looking to score as many as possible, while while the red is still looking for opportunities to match load. One one zero nine six D continues to block three uh, two four seven A from doing any match loading, and appears to be potentially pinning them into the corner. The uh, the other blue robot is looking to take uh, take tri balls from the red side of the field and move them onto the blue side, and then score them into the goal. 1096D has now opted to line up to do their own match loading. Leaving 38247A on the red alliance, it freely free to do match loads. 1096D has opted to go, return to blocking 38247A, who is, who is then moved over to the red side to score tri balls into the goal. So far, there are very few tri balls on the field because neither team has had much opportunity to match load. There are each, only one robot in each team who are able to match load, and they, they've been looking to stop each other from match loading. It seems as though we have one robot and. Results for qualification match 21 are out, with the Red Alliance winning 112 to 44. Moving on, moving on to the to qualification match uh, 23. On the blue alliance, we have 7830K and 10054A. On the red alliance, we have 7830N and 10054E. All teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in 3, 2, 1, go. It seems all four robots have an autonomous in this match, but so far only the red alliance has been able to get their tribal near the goal. It remains to be seen whether that tribal is actually meets the conditions of being scored. Autonomous tie. Moving on to driver control in three, two, one, go. 
We have 7830 and uh, of the Red Alliance trying to launch tribals all the way across the field. And on the opposite side of the on the opposite corner of the field, 7830K of the Blue Alliance is, is looking to 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 score their their to score match loads. However, they need to be touching the bar in order to do those match loads. Um, on the opposite side of the field, the blue team 10054A is looking to score. And they do not have to contest 7830N's match loads because 7830N is, appears to have gotten disabled. 7830K continues to match load despite the, the defense played by 10554E, and they have now cleared out all, both of their match load baskets leaving them free to try to score as many try balls as they can into the goal. The blue, ro the blue alliance has opted for a double zoning strategy where both both the robots are go to the blue side of the field to score all, all the try balls they match loaded onto this side of the field. One of the red robots being disabled, there's only one red alliance robot left who are, who are looking to, to score as many as they can from their side into the goal. In the meantime, the two blue robots continue to. Um, in the meantime, the two blue robots continue to to try to to score as many try balls as they can into the, their own goal uncontested. However, it seems the blue robot 7830K has now gotten stuck on their goal and are, will be unable to move for the remainder of the match. It's now the, the last 10 seconds, but no, none of the four teams look to be able to elevate, and only two of the teams are have been are, are left moving in the final few seconds of this match. Thank <laughs> you. 
Moving on to qualification match 24, on the red alliance we have 6588C and 7830P. On the blue alliance we have 10054D and 38247D. All four teams are ready, autonomous, autonomous spirit beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. It seems one, two red robots and one blue robot have, had, have an autonomous, but red is likely to win, having scored, having points for both of their alliance tribals. Red wins autonomous, driver control starting in 3, 2, 1, go. The red robot 7830P is looking to uh, line up to match those. And on the opposite side, uh, the blue robot 382247D have also gotten ready to match those. But having face contact, they they now they have opted to go to score tribals instead. 7830P continues to match those even through the contact of the blue alliance robot. And now have, have now finished uh, have finished their match loading. They're now looking to push as many tribals as they can over to their side of the field of the ones that ended up on the blue side. Blue has returned to the match loading, of looking to looking to get as many tribals as possible to their side of the field. The red the red ro robots have now opted to to double zone, looking to score as many tribals as they can in, straight into their goal, rather than play defense rather than play defense on the blue side of the field. It, it seems like the red, it seems the many of the blue match are going out of the field and they may be subject to a minor violation because of that. Um, blue has gone largely uncontested in scoring into their goal, so their goal is mostly full. Red having had two robots on their, on their side scoring uh, into their goal also have many tri balls on their goal. Currently it seems like, as though the red probably, as, as though the blue side has a few more tri balls on their goal, but it's going to be a very close match. It appears the red robot is trying to get as many tribals over to the to their side of the field as possible and is now taking those tribals that they just acquired and putting them into the goal. Final five seconds of the match. It seems like no teams are going for elevation, so we'll be down to all the all the tribals that are on the field. We have the results for match 22. Uh, here is a very it was a very close match with Red Alliance winning by 49 to 44. Now moving on to qualification match 25. On the red alliance we have two paint teams, 1096A and 1096C. On the blue alliance we have 38247B and 99500D. All teams are ready. Autonomous period begins at 3, 2, 1, go. Both red robots have appeared to score the, their alliance tribal into the goal. The, one of the blue robots attempted to do the same, however they, they were unsuccessful in scoring into the goal. With two tribals, tri it seems as though red, red has won the autonomous bonus. Driver control begins in three, two, one, go. The, the red robot 1096A was already lined up and is now match loading across the field. On the opposite side of the field, the team 38247B is, is also match loading, but they are being contested by 1096C. However, they seem to be match loading even through the contact. 
Uh, the red robot, Pen96A, uh, has now finished their match loading and is looking to push as take as many tri balls as they can over to the red side of the field. The other blue robot, 99500D, has been looking to score as many as they can into their tri ball. However, they seem to have into their goal. However, they seem to have had some difficulty. Blue, the blue alliance has now finished their match loading. However, it seems like the red robot is looking to keep them stuck in the corner. On the other side, 1096, the other red robot, uh, the red robot seem to have swapped, and now 1096C is looking to do their match loads. 99500G um, has come over to their to that part of the field and is now contesting 1096C. Uh, 1096C match loading. We'll see if they will be able to match load regardless. On the opposite side, 1096A is uncontested and scoring as many tri balls as they can into the goal, as the two blue robots have have double zone, looking to score as many as they can into their goal and stop 1096C from um, from taking their tri balls. Having gone largely uncontested, uh, the the one red robot, well, the one robot on the red side has successfully scored many tri balls into the goal. Moving on to the ten, last 10 seconds of the match, it seems like none of the robots have any have a mechanism for elevation, so they will continue to, to score tri balls into the goal in the last few seconds of this match. We have the results from qualification match 24 with Red Alliance winning 101 to 83. Moving on to qualification match 26, on the Red Alliance we have 65AAA and 72751D. On the Blue Alliance we have 10054B and 99067C. It appears all four teams are ready, so we'll be doing autonomous period in 3, 2, 1, go. It seems only one blue robot has autonomous, but they've gotten themselves stuck on the wall and were unable to score their tri ball. Because their tri ball, because the tri ball is no longer contacting the robot, that tribal will still count for two points for their team, meaning that blue team has now one autonomous. Driver control begins in three, two, one, go. It seems 99067T has lined up in the, in the blue corner, uh, in the blue alliance match load zone, looking to score as many as they can across the field. However, not all of their match loads are actually making it across the field. One red robot appears to have gotten stuck, gotten themselves stuck against the wall, while the other red robot seems to be taking, trying to get as many tri balls over to their side of the field as possible. <laughs> so, um, one of the blue robots continues to match out, while the other one tries to score as many as they can into the blue goal. It appears that most of the blue match loads have actually ended up on the red side of the field, so they'll have to work in order to get those push those over into over to their side. Currently, only one of the red robots is moving, so it's a one versus two with uh, red versus blue. Blue has successfully pushed a number of tri balls across the field and is now looking to score them across into the goal. The remaining red robot continues to look to get themselves unstuck, but seems unable to. Blue is, blue is trying to push push as many tri balls as they can over the barrier, except, they, except it seems they don't have a wedge on their robot to push the tri balls, to, to push the tri balls up, so most of them are simply getting stuck against the wall. Blue has so far been unable to, to get to their side of the field, so, 
so there's very few try balls in their goal. Red has also been focused on getting as many. Uh, sorry, red. Uh, Blue has been focused on getting as many try balls over across the field as possible. Moving on to qualification match 27. On, on the red alliance, we have 72751A and 99500A. On the blue alliance, we have 1096B and 7830N. It appears the, the, robots are, the teams are just finished set up and then it will be able to begin the, the match. All four teams are ready. Here's a size check has been called against the Red Alliance. However, they do they appear to be inside. Okay. We are now all ready. The Thomas period begins at three, two, one, go. Both blue alliance. Both blue robots have gone immediately to score the tri ball in, into the goal, uh, while only one of the red robots moved. <coughs> blue has won the autonomous bonus. Driver control begin in three, two, one, go. On the red alliance, it appears 99500A has lined up to do to the tri balls. On the opposite corner. Uh, 7830N has also lined up to do their match lows. Um, uh, on the opposite, the other opposite, other blue robot, 1096B, is using their wing in order to push as many tri balls as they can into the into the goal. Now the blue alliance has finished their match loading and they're looking to get under the bar because it appears their robot is a little too tall, so they will have to go over the bar in the middle of the field. The two blue robots are now double zoned and are looking to both push into the field. One red robot continues to try to finish up their match load, while the other red robot um, tries to score into their goal. Red has pretty much finished doing their match loads and will now be looking to score as many points, push as many tri balls as possible over to the opposite side, over to their side of the field. There's now one. One red robot and one blue robot on each side of the field. Each looking to score as many points as they can. Blue has now gone back to double zoning, looking to get as many as they can in the goal, while the red 99500A looks to stop the two blue robots from scoring in their goal. One blue robot has returned back to the red side of the field and is now looking to push to push as many to push the red robot along with tribals over to their side of the over to the blue side of the field. Then 830N has completed potentially the first hang of the day, depending on whether or not they stay up when the match ends. Unfortunately, their robot fell as soon as the match ended, resulting in no elevation points. We have the results from qualification match 25, with the Red Alliance winning 128 to 53. 
Moving on to qualification match 28. On the red alliance, we have 10054A and a 30372A. On the blue alliance, we have 6588C and 72751B. All four teams are ready. Dri Autonomous Spirit begins in three, two, one, go. It seems that blue has crossed over to the to the opposite side of the field, meaning that red wins uh, wins autonomous automatically. With red having one autonomous, driver control begins in three, two, one, go. It seems red, red has a puncher. The red robot 30372A has a puncher and has pushed them, their, put their robot all the way into their match load zone in order to push, uh, push their robot, put, put, uh, in order to do to match load the tri balls. The two blue robots have opted to double zone, but have so far gone no tri balls into their goal. The remaining red robot appears to be. Uh, appears to be on the red side and is looking to get as many tri balls as they can into their goal. Red has decided to, to stop match loading so they can then take the, the match loads that they just released and push them over to the, to the red side of the field. So far, very few, very few uh, tri balls have actually been scored in the goal and because only a few match loads were introduced, there's very few, there are very few tri balls available on the field. It seems red has de has finally, for the first time today, has used the fact that blue was double zoning in order to de-score, in order to de-score one of the one of the blue tribals. Red red continues to score. Red and blue both continue to try to score in the goal, but so far red has been more successful. Uh, with having a four tri ball lead so far in the goals. The both the red robot has the red robots have opted to double zone and the blue robot is attempting to de-score. However, red has stopped double zoning. And that is time. With the results from qualification match 27, with blue winning 103 to 39. Now on to qualification match. Now onto qualification match 29. On the red alliance we have 1096D and 99500D. On the blue alliance we have 7830A and 10054C. All four teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. Two of the red robots and one of the two of the blue robots and one of the red robots have moved in autonomous. However, it seems blue has probably won this autonomous, uh, won this bonus because they have one extra tri ball scored. Blue wins autonomous. Uh, driver control begins. Blue is one of the autonomous bonus. Driver control begins in three, two, one, go. In one corner of the field, we have uh, 10054C lining up to match load, but 1096D is looking to stop them from match loading using their four bar lift to block the match loading. So 10054C has opted to, to use the strategy of placing, of getting the tri balls into the, the edge of the field to then push them across manually. In the opposite corner, 99500D is looking to match load. However, it seems like their flywheel doesn't quite reach the opposite side of the field. 7830A has so far simply been scoring the tri balls in across the field, feeling unthreatened by, by 99500D's match loading. 
7A is now using their wings to get to continue uh, to continue scoring to the field. On the opposite corner of the field, 1054C has finally gotten themselves into a good position to keep continue match loading. However, 1096D was looking to block them, but now they have tipped themselves over when they were trying to use their lift to block. 7A has clear has finished clearing most of the, the blue side of the field. While 99500G is looking to push tribals back over to the red side of the field. 1-0, although 1096G of the red alliance seems appears to be stuck, it seems they have also gotten 1054C stuck with them. I mean, there's only two robots left to compete in this match. So far, 7830A has been has been very successful in getting the tribals into their goal, meaning with only a few seconds left in the match, Blue is likely to win this match. None of the four teams are looked, have looked to elevate in this match. Here are the results from qualification match 28, with the Red Alliance winning 36 to 21. Moving on to a replay of qualification match 23. The previous, the previous match, one of the teams experienced a white screen, meaning that the, the match had to be replayed. On the red alliance, we have 7830N and 10054E. On the blue alliance, we have 7830K and 10054A. Teams are ready for the replay. Autonomous begins at 3, 2, 1, go. It seems all four teams have been autonomous, but so far only the red has been able to get a tri ball into their goal. Because they're the only team that got a tri ball into the goal, it seems like red will probably win autonomous. Red wins autonomous. Driver control begins in 3, 2, 1, go. The red on the red side, on the blue side of the field, the red robot 7830N is looking to, to, to use their flywheel in order to match load. On the opposite side, 7830K is looking to use their flywheel in order to, to match load. The other two robots uh, appear to be trying to score as many as they can into the goal. Both robots have been match loading very fast, and there's now a huge number of tri-balls out onto the field. The red, ro the red 
team is was the first to finish, closely followed by the blue team. And now all four now all four teams are looking to score into the goal. Both 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 alliances have opted to double zone with the two blue robots looking on the blue side of the field looking to score in their goal, and the two red robots on their side of the field looking to score in the red goal. So far, red has gotten more in, but blue has more more tribals available to potentially score on their side of the field. Red has a few more tribals left on their field, and then they will be cleared out with their their side of the field, and may potentially go over the blue side. Blue still has a, a good number of tribals there. They are looking to take to um, to get into their goal on their side of the field. So far, it's looking close, but Red seems to have a few more try balls into the in their side in their goal. Both teams continue to to, to double zone. With it being nearing the end of the match, one one of the red robots has lined up to, to elevate and has successfully elevated. We will see if whether if by the end of the match they will continue to stay elevated or if they will fall off as they have. Uh, as they have so far today. The red robot has stayed has stayed elevated, resulting in the first elevation of today, which is a 20 point bonus, which could swing this could be the swing factor in this very close match. Now it's time for our lunch breaks. We'll see you back at one o'clock.
Attention teams, skills is open if you want to get some skills in during lunch. Again, skills is open if you want to get some skills runs in during lunch. Thank you. 
Test, test. Attention all teams, lunch is about to end, so if you're in qualification match 30, 31, or 32, uh, please make your way onto the fields now. Again, qualification matches 30, 31, and 32, please make your way to the fields now. Especially match 30, 7830K, 99500B, 2627E, and 6588B, your match is about to begin.
All right, and we're about to begin qualification match 30. Team 7830K at 99500B versus 2627E and 6588B. Autonomous period begins at 3, 2, 1, go. So far it seems like one red robot and one blue robot has autonomous and the red robot was successful in scoring into the goal. Because the blue robot has crossed over to the, to the opposite side of the field, red automatically wins autonomous. 
Driver control starting in three, two, one, go. It seems like 2627E has now lined up and has, instead of match loading, they have opted to drop four down to then uh, push them all the way across the field. On the opposite side of the field, on the red alliance, 7830K has lined up and has began match loading across the field with their flywheel. Um, team 99500 b of the Red Alliance has gotten themselves stuck in the middle, leaving only the one red robot uh, to compete in this match. Now it looks like 7830K is looking to ha help their alliance partner get uh, get get uh, get unstuck, while Blue continues to score into the goal. The Blue Robot 2627E has continued their strategy of simply dropping a few tri balls and then pushing them straight into the goal themselves. They're now trying to contest 7830K, but it seems like 7830K has a sturdy spot with to match load from. Currently, there are a lot more uh, match load. There are cur currently a lot more tribals in the blue goal, but there are a lot of tribals on the red side, which they might be able to uh, might be able to uh, push into the goal. In a in a in a tussle in a, in, in one of the side edges of the field, it seems like 26270 has gotten stuck on top of the tribal, leaving this to a 1v1 match. 7830K is now un has, is now largely uncontested, scoring in their tribals into the goal that they previously brought over to the side that side of the field um, through match loading. Within the last 10 seconds, it seems like none of the robots are going looking to elevate as 2627E is unable to move and therefore can't do their elevation. From the replay before lunch, in qualification match 23, Red Alliance won 144 to 96. Now onto qualification match 31 on the Red Alliance, we have two Bogle robots with 38247B and 38247D. Uh, on the blue lines, we have 1096E and 10054E. All, all four teams are ready. A line, uh, autonomous period begins at 3, 2, 1, go. All four robots in this match have autonomous. So far, both red robots and one of the blue robots have successfully gotten a tri ball into, a tri -ball into the goal, meaning red, red will likely win autonomous. Blue actually ends up winning autonomous. Driver control starting in three, two, one, go. In one corner of the field, we have the red robot three, three, eight, two, four, seven, B, uh, match loading all the way across the field. While on the opposite side, we have the blue robot one, zero, zero, five, four, E, instead opting to launch, launch down the lane, so they can then push all the tri balls to the other side of the field once they're done match loading. The other red ro uh, one red ro the other red robot is currently scoring to the goal. Both teams have now finished both teams have, have now finished match loading and are going to get into a battle over who can push this huge huge stack of tri balls onto the onto their side of the field. Currently, it seems like both teams have do not have enough pushing force to push all the tri balls and are stuck in a stalemate. This leaves the other two the other two robots one from each side uh, able to. Push, push into their goal uncontested. So far, there are significantly more tri balls in the blue goal, goal with them, meaning they're winning. And the, the large stack of tri balls is currently also on the blue side. Unless red, unless, unless red can push all of these tri balls to their side of the field and get more into goal, they're unlikely to be able to win. The blue, it appears the blue robot is stuck on this large pile of tri balls, which is unfortunate, but it also prevents the red alliance from pushing these tri balls over to their side. 1096E uh, from the blue lines continues to push uh, tri balls into the goal, and the uh, uh, 38247B on the red lines continue to try to push the stack over to their side, but to little avail. Now the two red robots have have chosen to double zone in the last few seconds of the match, but it will probably not be enough to secure the victory. We have the match. 
results from qualification match 30 with the red robot barely winning 72 to 61. On to qualification match 32. All teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in 3, 2, 1, go. Sorry. 3, 2, 1, go. One red robot and one blue robot appears to have moved, except it appears as though only the red robot got the tri ball into the goal. It remains to be seen whether this tri ball actually crossed into the field, into the plane of the goal, allowing it to count as scored. Autonomous tie. Moving on to driver control. Beginning at three, two, one, go. It seems like all the robots are working. And in one corner, we have 38247A of the blue lines trying to match load across, but, but struggling to, to maintain contact with the bar. On the opposite side of the field, we have 7830P match loading, having, having gone through most of their match load and now moving to, uh, to push the tri balls back over the barrier, having finished their match loading. It appears 38247 has launched a tri ball out of the field, but continues to match load. Most of the tri balls are currently on the on the red side of the field, so we'll see what Blue Alliance is able to do in order to bring the tri balls back to their side. The Red Alliance has opted to double zone to score all of the tri balls that they got to their side of the field into the goal. The Blue Alliance has has also double zone trying to trying to score as many tri balls into their field into the field as possible. So far, it, it's a it's a very close game. So it comes down to how, how many tri balls these teams can get into the into the goal. With both teams having finished their match loads oh, match loading already, the red each team has now opted to send one robot to the other side of the field to play defense. It seems the red robot is trying to, the red robot 7830P is trying to keep, was trying to keep 6588A away from their goal, but have now gotten themselves stuck against the barrier. This leaves uh, 72571C solo, except they're actually, they're trying to uh, get their partner unstuck. With 10 seconds left in the match, no team appears to be, appears to have a, a, a mechanism in order to elevate. We have the results from qualification match 31 with Blue winning 131 to 61. On to qualification match 33. All four teams are ready. Uh, autonomous period begins in. Oh. Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. It seems all four teams have an autonomous, but so far none of the teams have successfully gotten a tri ball into the goal. Red has crossed the line. Uh, over the over to the other side of the field, Mini Blue has automatically won autonomous. Driver control starts in three, two, one, go. In one corner, we have one 1096C of the Blue Alliance trying to trying to uh, use their flywheel to score across. While in the opposite corner, we have 7830C of the Red Alliance using the catapult. Uh, to, using a catapult to score uh, the tri balls across. Although most teams have opted for a flywheel in this tournament, it seems that this team has opted for a catapult looking for a more consistent uh, launch launch across the field. 1096C appears to have gotten pushed off their spot but are returning back to, in order to continue match loading. 7830C is just about uh, done with their match loading and will then will be, then be looking to score. Their Alliance 99067C has been trying to score as many of the tri balls that were launched to their side of the field into the goal as possible. On the blue side, we have we have both teams double zoned. However, there doesn't appear to be many tri balls on their side of the field with which to score. So they, they will likely have to go back to the other side of the field to, to take tri balls away from the red team. On the red side of the field, both the teams the teams have opted to double zone, trying to score as many as they can in the goal. However, this leaves them at risk of being descored, depending on if the blue robots are able have the capacity to descore. 
blue robot instead seems to be trying to keep the red robot as far away from the goal as possible. However, the red robot, the red goal is already filled up with tri balls, and blue needs to needs to get tri balls into their onto their side of the field if they hope to win this match. Red continues to double zone, but because blue the blue robot does not have any mechanism to descore, they're unable to descore. At the end of this match, it seems no team, no teams are looking to elevate. We have the results for qualification match 32, with the Red Alliance winning 89 to 72. Yeah. Moving on to qualification match 34, it, it appears all the teams are ready. Um, Autonomous period begins with 3, 2, 1, go. Both blue robots have successfully gotten tri balls towards the goal, except that it appears only one of them actually entered the goal successfully. Blue, having scored the only points of Autonomous, would appear to have won Autonomous, one bonus. Blue wins Autonomous. Driver control begins in three, two, one, go. On one corner of the field, we have. On one corner of the field, we have seven, two, seven, five, one, G, trying to use trying to use their flywheel uh, to launch balls across, but it seems under de defense from 1096A, they have opted to just, just instead of push try balls. On the opposite corner of the field, we have three, eight, two, four, seven, C, looking to match load, and they've. Completed all of their 22 match loads in the first 25 seconds of driver, and they are now looking to play defense against the other red robot who are looking to score into the goal. Blue has now opted to double zone, trying to score as many tri balls into the goal as possible. It appears one of the robots, 1096A, has gotten disabled, leaving, leaving one blue robot to verse against two red robots. So far, now red, blue, now the blue team, the red, the red robot 72751D has returned to start match loading, except it appears their match loading mechanism is not working. So they are instead trying to push tri balls, as many tri balls as they can over to the red side. The other blue, uh, the other red robot is trying to push as many tri balls as they can into the goal, but the, but the remaining, the one remaining blue robot is attempting to stop them and bring the tri balls back over to their side. With 10 seconds left of this match, the elevation period begins, but it seems none of the four robots are looking to elevate. And that's time for this match. We have the results from qualification match 33 with the red team winning decisively 123 to 40. Moving on to qualification match 35. On the red alliance, we have 2627E and 38247B. On the blue alliance, we have 10054A and 10054B, except, except it appears that 10054A has opted to, to, no, to not show up for this match. 
because of technical difficulties. Actually, it appears that both blue lights have now shown up for the match. All teams are ready. Autonomous period begins in 3, 2, 1, go. It seems both red robots have an autonomous with 2627E opting to push as many uh, tribals as they can over to the opposite side of the field as possible. To, to convert those two points for the uh, blue alliance over to two points for the red alliance. Red wins autonomous bonus. Driver control. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. So far, none of the robots have, are lining at the match load, with all robots instead opting to push as many tribals as they can into, into, the, into the goal. It seems like neither of the blue robots have any currently working mechanisms to, to, in order to do match load, except it, it's, it'll be interesting to see whether the red robots opt to do match loading later. The blue robot. The blue robots have successfully descored three tri balls because red red has double zoned. Unfortunately, the blue one of the blue robots is now stuck on the red goal and is in is currently inside of their goal. They have not gotten unstuck. So far, it, it it appears like one red robot and one blue robot are having a hard time moving, but the other two robots are moving moving around just fine. It seems it seems red is in a is now in a two versus one scenario and they're opting to the one remaining red robot is opting to drop a few tri balls down then push them directly into the goal although this isn't as fast as match loading it's a lot safer as none of the the blue robot then cannot take cannot take the time to uh cannot move the, those tri balls back over the other side blue robot once again tries to descore uh, descore tri balls except the red robot moves back across to their side of the field to the blue side of the field. The red robot is now match loading using, using their slapper and are getting as many tri balls as they can at this point late in the match, hoping to simply score the points from be them being on the right side of the field. It is now the, the final four seconds of the match. It looks like red might be lining up to park, except instead they simply opt to push into the, into the goal. We have the, the results from qualification match 34 with the Blue Alliance winning 78 to 35. 
Moving on to qualification match 36, on the red alliance we have 7830P and 10054E. On the blue alliance we have 30372A and 99500B. All four teams are ready. Autonomous period begins at 3, 2, 1, go. Sorry. It seems that both red robots have moved, but only one red robot got the tri ball into the goal. However, it will it will probably be it will likely be enough in order to win the autonomous bonus. Red wins the autonomous bonus. Driver control starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Ah, sorry. My technical difficulties. 7830P has it has lined up in the red match load zone in order to do their match loads with a flywheel. And on the opposite corner, 99500B of the blue alliance has lined up in their cor in their corner in order to do their match loads. The other the other two remaining robots are trying to score as many as they can into their goal. It seems like 10054E is now trying to um, was trying to push 99500B off of their spot, but they have now opted instead to try to score as many as they can. Um, Red Alliance has finished their match loads and now are now double zoning, trying to score as many tri balls as they can into the, any, as many tri balls as they can. 99500B continues to match load with them being on their last three match loads. They opt to, to take a break in order to contest the, the huge pile of tri-balls that is present on the one edge of the field. Them and 7830P are trying to push as many tri-balls through the, the side lane of the, of the field over to the other side. While the other two robots continue to try to score as many as they can in the goal. So far with 30, with 30 seconds left in the match, it appears Red has, has an advantage, but Blue may still be able to come back as there are many tri-balls still left on the field. The red, the red robots continue to double zone, trying to score as many as they can in, the, in this field. While one blue robot tries to score into the tri ball, into the their field, while the other blue robot tries to push the remaining tri balls on the red side over to the blue side. With 10 seconds left, it seems like no, none of these four robots have, are opting to go for elevation, or in, and are still opting to continue working towards uh, scoring to the field. And that's time. We have the, qual the match results from qualification match 35. The red robot winning a, a decisive victory, 76 to 8. Moving on to qualification match 37. On the red alliance, we have 10054D and 99067T. On the blue alliance, we have 1096E and 99500A. All four teams appear to be ready. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. Sorry, technical difficulties. Uh, let's try that one more time. Autonomous bonus in three, two, autonomous period in three, two, one, go. It seems one red tri ball, one red robot has and one blue robot have each tried to score a tribal, except the blue robot has continued, Autonomous has continued trying to score as many, trying to score a, a, a neutral tribal, allowing them to win, uh, allowing them to win Autonomous. Moving on to driver control. Uh, driver control begins in three, two, one, go.
It appears the, the blue robot 99500A is lining up in the corner to begin match loading, but only one side of their drivetrain appears to be working. On the opposite side of the field, 99067T is trying to is trying to match load with their extremely uh, high shooting uh, flywheel. 1096E of the blue lines uh, tries is trying to push uh, tri balls into the field into the into their goal, while 1005D of the red alliance is trying to do the the same for their for their goal. 99500A appears to continually be, be struggling to actually line themselves up in order to begin match loading. While on the opposite side, side of the field, 99067T has actually finished their match loading and is now beginning to score. 1096E appears to have gotten disabled for a second, but now they are continuing to try to score as many as they can. Although, although red. Although the red team was able to get out their match load, it appears that the blue team has taken the, the red match loads and scored them into their own goal, leaving them with a clear lead in this match. 99067T tried to score tri balls into the goal, but it appears they have flipped themselves up and they are now stuck in the corner. 99500A was unable to line themselves up for match loading and appeared to now be stuck in the corner. This leaves it down to a 1v1 between 1096E of the blue lines and 10054D of the Red Alliance. In the last 10 seconds, it appears that none of the four robots are looking to elevate and are simply looking to get a, a, a last couple of tri balls into their goal. And, and that is time. We have the results from qualification match 30 36 with the Red Alliance winning 132 to 54. Moving on to qualification match 38. We have on the red alliance 1096C and 6588P. On the blue alliance, we have 38247D and 72751C. All four teams are ready. So we will be beginning autonomous bonus uh, in autonomous period in three, two, one, go. One red robot and one blue robot have moved, and now the second red robot has started to move. As blue is the only uh, team to actually score any points in this autonomous bonus, they will likely be the winners. Blue wins autonomous bonus, now going to driver control, Drive, uh, beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. The red, on the red alliance, 1096C has lined up to begin match loading while their, while their alliance partner is, is trying to score as many as tri balls as they can in, into the goal. For the blue, for the blue alliance, 38247G are doing their match loaders while, they're, while their alliance, 72751C, are trying to score in the goal. So far, it seems like both teams have been getting some amount of their match loads over, except that more of the match loads have ended up on the blue side than the red side. It appears Red Alliance has finished their match loading first, although it was less consistent, and Blue Alliance soon, shortly after have finished. Both teams have now gone, have, are now driving around the field trying to score as many points as they can with the match loads they just sent out into the field. Blue Alliance has, have opted to the double zone, both looking to score as many tri balls as they can straight into their goal. Red Alliance uh, has now also opted to the double zone trying to score as many points as they can. 38247D has Pushed out their wings, trying to get as many tribals, trying to get a huge number of tribals in at once. With them successfully pushing six tribals in all in a single single action, and they're now push, continuing to push. On the red side of the field, both teams have an intake which they then using to to take the tribals from the from the edges of the field and bring them towards um, bring them into their goal. On the it appears like the the blue and red, red lines are go. Both have a similar numbers of tri balls in their goal, going to the last five seconds, so it's going to be a very close match. None of the teams appear to be wanting to elevate, and that is time. We have the match results from qualification match 37 with the Blue Alliance winning 78 to 39. It appears there are only three robots currently on the field for qualification match 38, 39, and so we'll see what is uh, the issue there.
One of the red robots is doing skills, but they have now arrived to the match, meaning we'll start soon. Thank you. 
Just a reminder, teams, please be looking at the the match number that we're currently on, and and not the actual match schedule timing, because we may be ahead or behind the schedule. That way, you you're able to be at your matches when it is time for the matches. It appears that all teams are finally ready, so we'll be starting autonomous, uh, autonomous period in 3, 2, 1, go. One red robot and one blue robot have each tried to score their alliance try ball into the blue alliance goal. Red wins the autonomous bonus. Driver control starts in three, two, one, go. On on one corner of the field, we have the red red team three eight two four seven C launching tri balls across the field with their flywheel, while their their partner seven two seven five one A tries to score those tri balls into the goal. For the blue alliance, we have ninety nine five hundred D trying to uh, trying to do the match load with their flywheel, while their alliance partner tries to score into the goal. So far, it appears that red's flywheel has been able to shoot farther, leaving more match loads, match loads on the red side of the field. The other red robot is now also trying to block the blue robot from match loading, keeping the, the tri balls on their side of the field instead of letting them fly over to the blue side. Red has now finished their match loading and are coming over to double zone on the red on the red side of the field, trying to score as many tri balls into the field into the goal as possible. Unfortunately for Blue Alliance, it seems most of their shots are not making it across the barrier, leaving most of the most of the, their match loads on the red side for Red to score to the goal. On the blue side of the field, there's only the one blue robot who has been able to score into the goal uncontested so far. The other blue robot, 99500G, is just about finished with their match load, so we'll see what they choose to do the, uh, oh, now that they are completed. The blue robot pushed, uh, pushed uh, tri balls across the field. It says it appears they may be too tall to actually traverse to the opposite side of the field. Actually, it turns out they're just about short enough. With 10 seconds remaining in this match, teams, the, all four teams have opted to try to keep, continue scoring into the goal instead of going for the elevation as they do not have mechanisms to do so. And that is time. We have the results from qualification match 38 with Blue Alliance winning 98 to 62. Now moving on to qualification match 40. On the red alliance, we have 1096B and 10054C. On the blue alliance, we have 38247A and 72751E. Uh, 
Um, all four teams are ready. Autonomous, autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. It seems two red robots and one blue robot had an autonomous. However, only the red robot, only the red robot 1096DB was successful in getting the tri ball into the into the goal. It appears 1096B entered into the goal when scoring the tribal, uh, leading to a violation, meaning blue wins autonomous bonus. Driver control beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. On the red, uh, on the red alliance, we have 1096B in the corner, trying to launch tribals across the field with their extremely strong flywheel. Most of them are going, are reaching the other side. It appears one actually flew out of the field. On the blue lines, on the opposite corner, we have 38247A launching tri balls to the blue side of the field. It appears the red alliance 1096B has finished, has finished their loading and are trying, attempting to traverse across the middle bar, but there are tri balls in the way of preventing them. So they have instead opted to go around. 38247A is also reaching the end of, end of their match loads. So it'll be interesting to see what they choose to do. The two red robots have opted to double zone, trying to score as many tri balls into their field as possible. The blue robots have opted to do the same, except it appears that the blue the blue robot 72751E is currently stuck on the on their goal and are unable to move, leaving 38247A to 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 fight one versus two for the rest of the match. Then 96. B of the Red Alliance has now opted to, to cross over to the blue side to play defense against 38247A. It appears 38247A tipped over, but their robot is designed in such a way where their robot will tip back, is able to tip back up even if they get tipped over. 1096B goes goes across to the side channel and brings a huge number of tri balls over towards the goal. But 38247A attempts to get those tri balls back, but it appears they actually ended, ended up scoring them into the red goal, which was not their their goal at all. The blue robot appears to be, have gotten themselves unstuck, leaving all four robots moving around the field. However, that is time. We have the results from qualification match 39 with Red Alliance winning 130 to 57. Moving on to qualification match 41, we have on the red alliance 1096A and 7830A, and on the blue alliance 72751B and 99067X. All four teams are ready. Autonomous period beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. Seems all four teams have an autonomous, with three teams opting to, to try to score their alliance tri ball into the goal. Well, what, one team, 72751B, has opted to push tri balls across to their side of the field instead. Uh, it appears Red has one autonomous. Driver control beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. On the red side, we have 1096A in the match flow zone, trying to use their flywheel to score as many match flows as possible onto their side of the field. In the opposite corner for the blue lines, we have 99067X trying to score match loads, but the team 70, the red team 7830A is trying to uh, prevent them from match loading. On the in the opposite corner, the blue robot is likewise trying to stop the red robot from match loading, but red has now finished using all their match loads, leaving them free to to score to score to play defense and score against the other robots. On the red side of the field, we have 7830A scoring into the red goal, and 9067X of the blue alliance trying to score as many all their match loads, going so far uncontested. On the blue side of the field, we have 72751B trying to score in their goal, and 1096A trying to stop 7951B from scoring. It appears seven, one of the blue robots, one of the blue robots' motors has disconnected. However, they're still able to move across around the field. Both teams have continued the strategy of having one one of their robots on each side of the field with one trying to score into the goal and the other one playing defense. It's now the last 30 seconds of this match, so it'll be interesting to see whether any teams opt to try to go for any elevation. So far, it seems like the Red Alliance has a clear advantage with many more tri, tri balls in their goal. The Blue Alliance has now opted to double zone, trying to score as many as possible, 
but the Red Alliance continues to play significant defense against them, trying to stop them from scoring any points. With 10 seconds left in the match, none, none of the teams appear to be elevating, and they all seem to just trying to be trying to get as many points as they can in the last few seconds, and that is time. We have the results from qualification match 40, with the Red Alliance winning 114 to 81. Moving on to qualification match 42, on the Red Alliance we have two ACP teams, 7830C and 7830N. And on the Blue Alliance we have another ACP team, 7830K, along with 72751D. Four teams are ready. Auton Autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. It seems three of the four robots have autonomous with re with all all three robots trying to score the their alliance tri ball into the goal. And all three robots seemingly being successful. This means red with two with two tri balls is likely going to win the autonomous bonus. Red wins the autonomous bonus. Driver control starting in three, two, one, go. 7830N of the Red Alliance has lined up to begin their match load, while 7830K of the Blue Alliance has all, have also lined up to do their match load. It appears one of the blue robots, 72751D, has gotten themselves stuck, leaving, leaving 7830K to one versus two, the remaining robots. Um, it appears the Red Alliance 7830N has finished their match loading and is now and have have now come over to the red side of the, the field to double zone and score as many tri balls as they can. The blue line 7830K has now also finished and have come to their side of the field where their alliance partner who is now who is now able to move have started scoring into their goal. 7830K is looking to uh, make sure their alliance partner doesn't get stuck again and now they they're trying to score as many points as they can. The Red Alliance 7830N has come over to the blue side and is now trying to move as many tri balls as they can over the barrier, except it appears they have gotten stuck on their on 72751G. With one red robot and one blue robot being entangled together, it leaves the two remaining robots both scoring as many as they can into the into the goal with their intakes. It appears the red the red goal is more full than the blue goal, but the blue blue team still has 20 seconds with which to catch up. So far, none of the teams have, are lining up to elevate, and will likely continue. Uh, will likely continue to try to score in the goal for the last few seconds of the match. The two robots continue to be stuck together, leaving just one robot on each side trying to score points in the final few seconds of this match, and that is time. We have the results from qualification match 41 with the Red Alliance beating the Blue Alliance 124 to 61. Moving on to qualification match 43, on the red alliance we have 1096D and 6588A. And on the blue alliance we have 1096E and 10054A. The team's just finishing setting up their, their robots. All teams are ready, autonomous bonus beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. It seems 
three, all four robots have moved, but only two tribals have ended up into. Only two tri alliance tribals ended up in the goal. The blue also tried to score an additional ex an extra tribal and actually was successful. Meaning blue will likely win autonomous. Blue wins autonomous. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. On the blue alliance, we have one zero zero five four eight lining up to launch tribals across the field with their catapults. Except it appears they are actually going one by one, putting a, a tribal into the robot and then moving it over the other side. On the red, on the red alliance, uh, 1096D is using their flywheel to, to try to match those, but 1096E on of the blue alliance is trying to p push them out, out of the match load zone so they can no longer match load. Blue continues to, to match load tribals one at a time on the on the red side of the field, while the on the, on the red side of the field, the red robot 6588A is trying to score as many tribals as they can into the goal. It appears that Red has exhausted all of their match loads and are now looking to double zone to, to get as many points, as many tribals on their side of the field as possible. Unfortunately, one of the Red Robots appears to have gotten stuck on the middle bar when they were attempting to traverse, and now their alliance partner is trying to help them get unstuck. In the meantime, Blue is, has free reign with which to score as many points as possible and are currently leading the match. The red robots finally got worked together to get un to get themselves unstuck, and are now now resuming trying to score as many points as they can into their goal. With 15 seconds left in this match, we will see if any of the teams opt to go for a hang. But it seems likely that we'll, they will continue uh, to score into the goal. With five seconds left, it appears that blue is likely to win this match, having way more tribals, and that is time. We have the results from qualification match 42, with Red Alliance winning 122 to 96. Sorry. We are now on qualification match 44. On the red alliance, we have 10054D and 72751C. On the blue alliance, we have 38247B and 72751E. Teams are just finishing up getting ready and then the match will begin. Now that we all have safety glasses, it appears all four, all the teams are ready. Autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. It appears one blue robot and one red robot each have an autonomous, with blue trying to score into the red goal.
Who wins the autonomous bonus? Driver control beginning in... Actually, it turns out it's an autonomous tie. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. On the blue side, we have three, eight, two, four, seven, B attempting to match load. Um, and on the red side, it seems that both robots have instead opted to try to score. Except unfor unfortunately for uh, 10054D, they got stuck on a tri ball, but they now gotten themselves unstuck. 38247B continues to match load on the corner and are just about finished up. The other blue robot, 72751E, are now, sc I've been scoring in the goal. While uh, the red robot for the red alliance, one robot has been scoring to the goal, while the other robot has been playing defense on the blue side of the field. Blue has, having finished their match load, have now opted to double zone, trying to score as many tri balls as they can. However, however, red. However, this means that red has been is now allowed to enter the blue goal and try to de-score. On the on the red side of the field, seven two seven five C has gone largely uncontested, but appear to be struggling to score into the into the goal. One of the blue robots, three eight two four seven B, has now opted to, to cross back over to the. To the red side of the field, trying to push as many tri balls as they can over to the blue side of the field. While their partner continues to push tri balls into the goal. It, it appears that 38247B had a hard time pushing tri balls across because they don't don't have anything to, to push tri balls up, so they've opted to return to scoring into the into their goal. The red robot 10. Oh, it appears time is up. We have the results from qualification match 43 with the Blue Alliance winning 86 to 48. Moving on to qualification match 45. On the Red Alliance, we have two uh, two Robobox teams, 99500A and 99500G. On the blue side, we have 10054B and 72751B. All teams are ready. Autonomous period beginning. Uh, autonomous be pe sorry. Autonomous period now beginning in three, two, one, go. It appears uh, one of the blue robots attempted to push tri balls to the opposite side of the field, while the other red robot tried to score into the goal. Blue wins autonomous bonus. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. It seems 99500D of the Red Alliance have, have lined up in their match station are trying to launch trials across the field, but have so, so far only hit the pole. On the opposite side of the field, the Blue Alliance 72751B does not have a mechanism for match loading, but instead has opted to place one tribal at a time and then move their robot across the field. 9500D continues to match load, but it seems that most of their tri balls are ending up on the wrong side of the field. Uh, the red robot 99500A is now blocking the blue robot from from using their match load zone with their with their large robot. The blue robot on the blue side 99500D of the red alliance continues to match load, while uh, 10054B of the of the blue team continues to try to score into the goal. Now both blue robots have double zoned, attempting to score, but one of them has returned back to the match load zone to, to once again go one by one, trying to get tri balls, tri balls across the field. 99500G has strategically positioned themselves between the two blue robots to prevent as much scoring as possible, with one blue robot being unable to get to the, around the field and the one blue robot being unable to cross the field line and the other blue robot being stuck against their against the field uh, against the against the goal. 
The red robot 9500D appears to have be done with appears to be done with match loading, having match loaded done about half of their match loads, and are now pushing tri balls across to, the, to their side of the field. They're now in the last five seconds. They're resuming match loading, hoping to get a last few points. Time is now up. Here's the results from qualification match 44 with the Blue Alliance winning 65 to 39. Moving on to qualification match 46. On the Blue Alliance, we have 72751D and 99500B. On the Red Alliance, we have two Bogobots, 38247A and 38247D. All four teams are ready. Driver uh, autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. It appears both red robots have an autonomous trying to score the, the tri ball into the into the goal, but only one was successful. Although only one blue robot moved at first, both ended up having autonomous that are simply scoring the tri ball outside of the goal. Red wins autonomous bonus, having scored into the goal. Driver controls. Oh. After some disputes, it, it seems that Red still won autonomous. Driver control beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. On the blue lines, we have 99500B lined up in the corner trying to match load, while their alliance partner 72751D appears to be stuck for the moment. For the red alliance, we have uh, 38247A lined up in their corner trying to match load, while their alliance 38247B D attempts to score into the goal using their wings. It appears the blue robot, uh, one of the blue, the blue robot that was stuck, has now gotten themselves unstuck, leaving them to try to score their points, points into their goal as much as possible. The red, the blue robot 9500B has now finished, has now finished match loading and is moving to try to push as many tri balls as they can from the red side to the blue side. The, the red ro robot 38247A has also finished match loading and are trying to get as many points to their side of the field as possible. 72751D having gotten themselves unstuck have now have now begun have now began scoring into the goal and have so far gotten them about eight tri balls into their goal. Their alliance uh, still remains on the red side of the field trying to get tri balls onto the blue side of the field. Red has opted to now double zone in the blue side of the field as they are trying to get as many uh, tri balls across as most of the tri balls are currently on the blue side of the field. The blue robot 9500B has opted to score their final two match loads over to their side before continuing their attempt to push as many tri balls over to the blue side as possible. On the blue side of the field, 72751D continues to push tri balls into the goal uncontested, while the two red robots have now double zoned on the red side for the final few looking points as possible. And that is time.
The results for a qualification match 45 are out with the Blue Alliance winning 67 to 35. On to qualification match 47. On the Red Alliance, we have 6588A and 7830K. And on the Blue Alliance, we have 1096C and 10054C. It seems all four teams are ready. So autonomous period will now begin. It will begin in three, two, one, go. It seems all four robots have an autonomous attempting to score their tri ball into the goal. However, only only two, one red robot and one blue robot were successful. This will very likely be a tied autonomous because of this. It was indeed a tied autonomous. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. It, the, it appears the blue robot 10054C is already lined up and scoring their matchup, while the red robot 7830K has just lined themselves up and all, is also using their flywheel to do their match loads. The, the, uh, 1096C of the blue alliance is now trying to stop 7830K from doing their match loads by keeping them off of the bar. On the opposite side of the field, on the red side, uh, 6588A uh, is trying to score as many points as they can into the red goal leaving 10054C uncontested in, in using their flywheel to, to launch tri-balls across. Currently in this match, we have a huge number of tri-balls on the field just waiting to be scored in the goals, and as soon as these teams are done match loading, they will look to score. Both teams finish match loading simultaneously and are now moving over to their side of the field to double zone and score as many points as they possibly can. 1096C has moved over to the red side, trying to keep push the tri-balls over to their side and prevent red from scoring in the in the red goal. This leaves 10054C uncontested on their side, solo trying to score, solo trying to score as many tri balls as they can. Red continues to double zone under the defense of 1096C, trying to get as many tri balls in as they can despite the efforts of the blue team. Currently, it seems that blue team has a slight edge in terms of number of tri balls in the goal, but most of the tri balls still remain on the red side of the field with 15 seconds left to go. This will be an extremely close match. None of the four teams have opted to go for elevation and are still continuing to fight over all the tri balls that are on the red side of the field. Time is just about up, so we'll see who will win this match. We have the results from qualification match 46 with the red team winning 87 to 61. Now moving on to qualification. Qualification match 48. On the red alliance, we have 30372A and 99067T. On the blue alliance, we have 7830C and 72751A. The teams are just finishing up getting ready and then we will begin this match.
Now that we all have safety glasses, autonomous period will now be it will begin in three, two, one, go. Both blue robots have an autonomous looking to score into the into the zone, while one of the red robots is an autonomous looking to score into their goal. Unfortunately, it appears Blue has crossed over the line under the opposite side of the field. It appears that the ref, the ref has decided that blue did cross the line, meaning red automatically wins autonomous. Driver control starting in 3, 2, 1, begin. The blue robot 7830C has lined up to match load with their catapult. While on the, for the red alliance, it seems that the, the, the robot 99067T is trying to move their way over to their match load zone to then begin match loading. Uh, one of the red robots has is currently was trying to dispute, uh, trying to push away uh, 7830C from the match load bar, but they have now returned and are continuing to match load. 99067T has has now lined themselves up on the red match load bar and has begun to shoot their their match loads. The blue alliance robot has opted to do not finish their match load and has instead tried to push as many tri balls as they can with blue double zone on the on the blue side of the field. The one red robot on the one robot on the red side of the field, seven eight three zero three seven two A, is now scoring into their goal completely uncontested. While the other red robot nine zero six seven T finishes up their match loading while being contested by seven eight thirty C. Red is now done with their match loads. However, it seems that they've given Blue the opportunity to score many tri balls into their goal. With thirty seconds left in the match, it seems that Blue currently has a strong advantage and Red will need to do significant work in order to catch up. Blue, the Blue Lions continues to just finish up, make, getting the last couple tri balls on their side into the goal, uh, while one of the Red Robots continues to score, and the other Red Robot seems to have gotten stuck onto the, on the Red ele Elevation Bar. With 10 seconds left in this match, it seems no team is going to go for Elevation, and instead are looking to simply score the last, uh, last few points. Seconds, so a couple seconds of the match, Red opted to de-score some of the Blue's points because there are two Blue robots on that side of the field. We have the results from qualification match 47 with Red winning 91 to 77. Moving on to qualification match 49, on the Red Alliance we have 7830A and 38247C. On the Blue Alliance we have 2627E and 7830P. All teams appear to be ready. Autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. It seems it seems three of the teams have autonomous, but one of the red teams was not cor was not correctly connected. I didn't do anything. Uh -oh. 
viewers are having some technical difficulties and we'll have to take a momentary pause. Are you going to reset the autonomous? It seems due to technical error that we'll now be we'll be restarting autonomous for this match. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure we should do that. Gotten confirmation we are restarting autonomous for this match. Everyone reset the robot. I I asked twice already. Everyone reset your robots. All teams are ready now for this restart. Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. This time all four robots appear to have an autonomous with with two with two red tri-balls looking almost scored and one and one blue tri-ball looking scored. And the blue lines has pushed tri-balls a few tri-balls over to the opposite side of the field. And may potentially Tribal was scored, so they have one autonomous. Autonomous begin. Uh, sorry, driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. On the red side, we have three, three, eight, two, four, seven. C. Uh, 
match, doing as many match draws as possible, but they are being contested by 7830P. On the opposite side of the field, we have 7 We have 7830A trying to score as many points as they can in the red goal, while 7 while uh, 2627E is trying to push try balls from the red side to the blue side in order to get that four point swing. It appears it appears the red robot has now finished match loading and are in a pushing battle with 2627E on one edge of the field. The other blue robot is has fo is said focused on scoring try ball is scoring try balls into the goal. Now the two blue robots have no have double zone trying to score as many try balls as they can, while one red robot 38247C is trying to contest them. Uh, the blue the blue robot 7830P has gone to the match loading zone attempting to match load, but 7830A is looking to block them with their lift. It appears that 7830A is tall enough to block them. So 7830P has to have, has to move away from the match load match load zone. With 7830 7830P then has is now pushing try balls all the way to the other side of the field and then scoring them into the goal. We have two robot red robots on the red side trying to score into the goal, while one blue robot scores in the goal and the other blue robot mat uses these last 10 seconds to get as many try balls across to using match loading as possible. We actually we actually have one robot going for elevation, 2627E of the Blue Alliance, and appears as though they have successfully elevated for the second time in this tournament. Um, it appears we have someone that is missing a wallet. If anyone finds a wallet lying around, please uh, bring it to the pit admin in the corner, in the in the edge, on the edge of the gymnasium. We have the results from qualification match 48 with the blue alliance winning cleanly 116 to 65. Moving on to qualification match 50. On the red alliance, we have 10.96D and 99067X. And on the blue alliance, we have 1096B and 110054E. All four teams appear to be ready. Uh, autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. It appears one red robot and one blue robot are moving, but the blue robot crossed over to the opposite side of the field, meaning red wins on autom the autonomous bonus automatically. are now resolved. Um, oh. Appear to have be having some connection difficulties. Teams are ready for driver control. Or not ready. Okay. We're finally all ready. Driver control starting in three, two, one, go. Because 1054E of the Blue Alliance has has not moved at all this match, they are allowed to reach into the field to, to fix their tactical difficulties. In the meantime, their their alliance partners P 
Can 96 B is using their flywheel to launch tri across the field, while in the opposite corner of the field, 1096 D of the Red Alliance is launching tri likewise. Now we see 99067X trying to contest the, the match loading of the blue team, while also trying to score as many tri as they can. It, it appears the, 10 the 10054 E robot is still not moving, and both the red and blue lines have finished during their match loading. Unfortunately, because of the because of the high amount of contact, 10054E has is having some amount of limit is limited in how much they can actually reach in the field to try to fix their robot. In the meantime, the two red robots are contesting the one blue robot, trying to get as many tri balls across the field as possible. But it seems that 1096D uh, went onto a tri ball and ended up tipping over. 99067X has opted to use a different avenue to get to their side of the field and are now scoring as many tri balls as they can. Well, 1096B of the Blue Alliance are trying to keep move the tri balls over to their side of the field. There are only one. There's only one red robot and one blue robot moving at this point with 20 seconds left in the match. So we'll see how it ends up. It seems like red has red has gone a, a good number of tri, tri balls onto their into their goal. Well, Blue has been unsuccessful in, in scoring any of their tri balls into their goal so far. So Red will likely win this match. Time is just about up now. We have the results from qualification match 49 with Red Alliance winning by a small amount, 109 to 103. Seems that the qualification match 50 is going to have to be replayed. Uh, and we're moving on to qualification match 51. On the red alliance, we have 1096A and, and 6588C. And on the blue alliance, we have 6588B and 7830N. All the teams are ready. So autonomous period will begin in 3, 2, 1, go. All four teams appear to have autonomous attempting to push the tri ball into the goal. However, only only three tri balls made it into the, the goal.
Red entered the goal line autonomous, meaning blue blue wins autonomous. Driver control starting in three, two, one, go. On the red alliance, we have 1096A lined up and already shooting tri balls across the field. And 6588C trying to uh, stop the blue alliance from match loading. The blue alliance robot 7830N is tr is currently match loading, despite the fact that one despite the fact that a red robot is trying to stop them from match loading. On the uh, on the opposite side of the field, 6588B of the blue alliance is trying to score into the goal. And the red robot has finished their match loading and is now trying to push as many tri balls as they can over to their side. The blue robot has also has also finished match loading, and the blue alliance has opted to go for the double zoning strategy in order to score as many as possible into their goal. On the red side of the field, only one red robot is present, and they are so they are free to score as many as they can uncontested. While the other red robot contests the double zone blue robots. It seems as though there are some loose parts, so some robots may soon end up and I'm unable to move. The blue robot, one of the blue robots is now opting to try to get over to the opposite side of the field so that they can then, then bring tri the tri balls that red moved over back to their side. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, one of the red robots appear battery appears to have disconnected as they are traversing across the field, leaving only the one robot, red, red robot left. Luckily for Raid, currently most of the tri balls remain on the red side of the field. So unless blue can move them over, it is likely that red will win this this match. Um, it appears that blue is trying to reach the elevation bar, but red seems to be blocking them, which may end up resulting in a violation. That time is up. It seems this match will come down to will come down to whether Red was able to to win by more than 20 and uh, and avoid a violation at the end of the match. Now moving on to qualification match 52 on the red alliance we have 38247D and 72751B. And on the blue alliance we have 7830C and 72751E. All teams seem to be ready. Autonomous period beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. It seems two ro blue robots and one red robot are moving. Except one of the blue robots appears to be accidentally trying to score into the red goal. Red wins autonomous. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. On the red side, we have three, three, eight, two, four, seven D lined up at the red, uh, red match load zone trying to match load. While on the opposite match load zone, seven, eight, thirty C is using their catapult in order to also match load. In the meantime, uh, what, the remaining red robot has opted to try to score in the goal, while the remaining blue robot has opted to try to play defense on the using a, a massive wall to stop the red uh, match loads from getting across the field. It seems as though the blue robot has finished match loading and now blue is looking to double zone trying to score as many points as possible. Red has also finished match loading and have also opted to double zone. So there are now two red robots on the red side and two blue robots on the blue side. It appears 7830C is using both their wings and their intake to score, score many tri balls extremely efficiently while blue while red having finished most of their tri balls have now opted to use their wings to try to get tri balls from the blue side over back over to the red side unfortunately for red it appears their wings aren't quite 
aren't quite able to push the tri -walls over the barrier. And Blue having double zoned. It appears that Red Red did not realize Blue was not double zoned and went to de-score as many robot tri -balls as they can, resulting in a potential violation. Red now, one of the Red Robots, both Red Robots now move back over to the red side of the field, trying to score as many tri -balls as they can in their goal that they just took over from the blue side. We'll see at the end of this match whether or not whether or not Red will end up with a with a major violation due to their descoring of the of the goal. And that is time. Okay. Uh, we currently have a missing controller. If anyone sees a controller uh, for 38247, Bogle, please uh, return it to Pit Admin or to the Bogle team.
Having finished going, gone, going over the rules violations, we're now on to qualification match 53. Autonomous, autonomous period begins in 3, 2, 1, go. It appears all four teams have an autonomous, uh, but only so far the blue, but so far it seems that only the blue robot has gotten a tri ball into the goal. Because the blue tri ball is in, blue wins autonomous. Driver console controls beginning in three, two, one, go. On the red team, we have 99500B in the corner trying to match load, while 10054A looks to block the blue lines from match loading. On the blue lines, we have 1096C trying to match load while potentially being blocked, and on the uh, and and 72751A looking to block 99500B from match loading. 10054A seems to have given up on blocking 10096 C and are now looking to score to the goal, but 10096C has taken a break from match loading to then push to then keep keep the red alliance away from their goal. On the opposite side, Red continues to finish. Red is finishing up their match loads and will soon start driving around the field. And the blue robot is cur currently scoring into their into the blue side. The red robot is coming down the lane, pushing as many tribals as they can to the red side of the field, while 1096C tries to block them and keep the tribals on the blue side of the field, resulting in a showdown. It appears that one night that the blue alliance has backed up, allowing the red alliance to push tribals. Except actually, the red alliance has gotten themselves stuck against the wall at the moment. 
two blue lines. Robots have now double zoned, attempting to score as many tri balls as they as they can into their goal. While one ro red robot is trying to score into the goal, and the other red robot appears to have gotten themselves stuck on on one on one of the barriers. Currently looks like a close match with blue having slightly more tri balls in their goal, while red has slightly more tri balls on their side of the field. In the last few seconds, blue is traveling over to the red side of the field, trying to push a last few tribals over the barrier to try to win this match. And that is time. We have the results from qualification match 51 with the red team winning 88 to 74. On to qualification match 54, on the red alliance we have two 10054 teams, both B and D. On the blue alliance we have 1096B and 7830A. Four teams to be seen to be ready. Autonomous, uh, not quite ready. Okay. Okay. 
Autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. It seems all the one blue robot is moving, and unless they cross the line, they will likely win the autonomous bonus. Being on the only ones to move, blue has one autonomous. Uh, driver control beginning in dri driver control starting in three, two, one, go. Okay, all four robots seem to be working despite tech potential technical difficulties. 1096B for the blue lines in the corner doing their match loads, while it appears that red is currently still lining up for their match loads. Or actually, it seems that red has ni neither red robot is able to match load, leaving both red robots around trying to trying to simply trying to push the tri balls around. Blue has already finished their match loading and are now trying to stop Red from scoring into their goal, while the other blue robot, 7830A, is scoring in, is scoring into the blue goal. One of the red robots, one of the red, red robots is moving over to the red side, bringing tri balls from the blue side over with it, while the other red robot attempts to score into the goal. It seems as though most of the tri balls have already ended up in Blue's goal, so Red will will probably have to match load if they hope to win this match. Um, blue's, blue side of the field seems mostly empty with with all of the tri balls being in the goal while red still has a number of tri balls on their side of the field look to be put into the goal it appears blue is just is grabbing is gathering one by one of a few tri balls in order to score into their goal but for the most part have slowed down in terms of scoring and 96b seems to have stopped completely well, the two red robots seem to be struggling to actually um, to get out of from where they are. Okay, 10054D is stuck on the on the blue side of the field, stuck between the barriers. While the other robot 10054B continues to try to score. With with three seconds left in the match, it seems very likely that blue will end up winning this match. We have the results for qualification match 53 with the Blue Alliance winning 87 to 75. Moving over to qualification match 55, on the Red Alliance we have 10054E and 99500A. And on the Blue Alliance we have 1096A and 38247A. Once again, looking missing a pair of safety glasses, but once we have gotten that, we'll be ready to start this match. Now that everyone is ready, Autonomous period will begin in three, two, one, go. All four robots seem to have autonomous for this match, but only only one of the red robots actually attached had a tri ball on a match load on uh, uh, an alliance tri ball on their robot. And blue successfully managed to score two tri balls, so they will likely win the autonomous bonus. Blue wins autonomous bonus. Driver control. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. In the red, in the red match load zone, we have 99500A trying to match load. While in the opposite blue match load zone, we have 38247A trying to match load. 1096A of the blue alliance is trying to stop the red alliance from match loading. While, while the other, while the blue alliance remains uncontested in their match loading, because the other red robot 10054E has opted to instead score into the goal. Because of the because they were contested, 99500A has moved away from the match load zone and has instead try is instead trying to trying to push tri balls across the barrier. In the meantime, uh, 
Then 96A is, is pushing as many tribals as they can into the into the goal. And after briefly pushing tribals across, 38247A has resumed doing floats. It appears that one of the blue robots is being pinned by the red robot on the blue side of the field. However, now both blue robots have come. To, the other blue robot has come to its aid, and both blue robots are on the blue side of the field trying to score tri balls into their goal. It seems as though because blue was able to match load to their side of the field, there are significantly more blue tri balls in the blue goal compared to the red goal at this point in the, the game. So red will likely have to match load if they hope to win this match. We now have. Um, we now have both blue robots back on the blue side of the field trying to score while one red robot attempts to stop them and the other red robot attempts to score into the goal. With 10 seconds left, it seems that none of these teams are going to be looking to elevate and are instead going to, con instead going to continue scoring into the goals. And, and that is time. We have the results from qualification match 54 with the Red Alliance scoring 20 points to the Blue Alliance's 93. Moving on to qualification match 56, on the Red Alliance we have two Arizona College Prep teams, 7830N and 7830P, and on the Blue Alliance we have 1096D and 99067T. All teams are ready, autonomous period starting in 3, 2, 1, go. It seems all four teams attempted to score into the goal, so it come down to which tribals actually ended up score and whether or not teams accidentally crossed into their into the into the the goal. It seems that it has ended up being a tie. Driver control beginning in three, two, one. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. In the in the red match load zone, 7830N has lined up to do their match loads while their alliance partner, um, 7830P, is trying to block the blue alliance from doing their match loads. It seems that 7830P is not tall enough, so 1096D of the blue alliance is able to, has been able is continuing to do their match loads despite the defense being played. Now the other blue robot has started playing defense on. Onto the Red Alliance mat robot match loading, but the Red Alliance has just finished. Red is now double zoning with one robot trying to stop the match loading of blue and the other robot trying to score into the goal. Unfortunately for the Blue Alliance, it appears that 99067C has gotten themselves stuck in the middle, on the, across the middle barrier, meaning it will now be a two versus one. Actually, uh, the other Blue Alliance robot has saved their alliance, meaning it's back to a two versus two match. The Red Alliance have opted to double zone, trying to score as many points as possible, while the Blue Alliance have positioned one robot on the Blue Alliance side, who, have un who is uncontested while scoring in the goal, while the other Blue robot contests the Red Alliance robots trying to score. So far it seems like the Red Alliance is winning with significantly more tri balls in the goal, but there are still 30 seconds left to go in this match. The Blue Alliance is now trying to take as many tri balls as they can over to their side of the field through the side edges, and then immediately scoring them into the goal if at all po if possible. The Red Alliance 7830N is now lining up for a hang. We'll see if they're actually successful in this hang. It appears they have they messed up their hang and are unable to get those extra 20 points. But they will likely still win because they have significantly more tri balls in their field. And that is time. We have the results from qualification match 55 with the Red Alliance winning, with the Blue Alliance winning 99 to 42. Now on to qualification match 57. On the Red Alliance, we have 2627E and 72751D. On the Blue Alliance, we have 6588C and 10054C. All teams appear to be ready. Autonomous, autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. It seems two blue robots and one red robot have an autonomous, except only, 
the, except the blue autonomous has now crossed into the other side of the field, meaning red wins automatically. Moving, moving on to driver control. Uh, we will begin in three, two, one, go. It seems in one corner we have two six two seven e lining up to potentially match match load, and in the opposite corner we have one zero zero five four c of the blue alliance trying to match load as well. Two, it seems like two six six two seven e has opted to, instead of match loading to try to push back the match loads that one zero five four c is pushing across. Seven nine nine six g remains on the red side trying to score into the field, except they appear to be having some difficulties with their drivetrain. The blue alliance is now just about finished up with their. Match loads, so the, the red and are now going over to their side of the field to score into the, the goal. The blue lines have uh, has opted to double zone, trying to score as many as they can into their goal. While the red alliance have also double zone, as only one of their robots is currently is currently moving correctly. Two six two seven e is taking the match loads they took from from the blue alliance and now pushing them into their goal. While blue while the two blue teams continue to score as many tri balls as they can into the goal. Blue Lions have gone through all their match loads, but Red Alliance still has the option of going, returning back to their match load station later in order to score points. And it seems that is exactly what they're doing with the Red Alliance 2627E now lining up to do their match loads, except instead of instead of trying to match load all the way across the field, they're just going to drop a few and then push them all the way across the field. Although this is a much lower strategy, it's much more consistent, preventing the, the opposing Blue Alliance from taking any of the tri balls they are trying to match load. Both of the, the Blue Alliance's robots remain double zone, trying to score the last few uh, tri balls on their field. With pretty, with extremely even goals, it looks like with five seconds left, it's going to be an extremely close match. And and that is time. Qualification match 56 with the Red Alliance winning 118 to 75. Moving along to qualification match 58 on the Red Alliance, we have two, we have the 30372A and 38247B, and on the Blue Alliance, we have 6588A and 99067X. All teams are ready. Autonomous bonus beginning. In, autonomous spirits beginning in three, two, one, go. Seems one red robot and one blue robot has have an autonomous. However, the red robot appears to have crossed into the goal, so they may be they may lose their points for this match. While the blue robot appears to not have moved a significant distance. Because, because red crosses the goal, blue wins autonomous. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. In one corner, we have the red alliance robot 38247B match loading, while in the opposite corner, we have 99067X of the blue alliance match loading. It seems like the other two remaining robots are content with just pushing tri balls into the goal. 99067X has taken a break from match loading to try to score as many points as can they can, while 38247B has opted to continue doing all of all other match loads before leaving the match load zone. 99067X of the blue lines have are now trying to push the the, the tri balls that have been match loaded to the red side back onto the blue side before they continue match loading. With red Alli red alliance having finished match loading, they are now contesting the blue alliance robot who is trying to score into the goal and pushing as many tri balls as they can over to the opposite side. While in the meantime, there continues to be one. Robot of each color on each side of the field, with nine our team opting to go for a double zone. So far, there there are very few there are very few uh, tri balls in the goals, but it appears to be there appears to be more tri balls on the on the red side of the field, meaning red is currently winning. 
Now there's a scuffle between 3A247B and 99067X in the lane at the edge of at the edge of the field. Both trying to push tri balls across to the other side of the field. But it appears blue has been successful in pushing tri balls to their side. In the meantime, the the other two robots continue to try to score into the goal. It appears with with 10 seconds left, it appears to be a very close match. But because neither team has an elevation, um, has an, the ability to elevate, both will continue to simply try to score uh, tri balls in into their goal with the in the last few seconds, and that is time. We have the results from qualification match match 57 with the blue red alliance winning with a score of 90 to the blue alliance of 60. Here's all the teams are ready, so we will begin qual 50, qual qualification match 59. Both red robots and the one blue robot have attempted to score tri uh, score their alliance tri balls into the goal. The, the, one of the blue ro red robots is also scoring an additional tri ball, which may win them the autonomous bonus. Red wins the autonomous bonus. Now on to driver control, beginning in three, two, one, go. It seems for the Red Alliance, 7830K has lined up in the corner to do their match loads while their alliance partner scores in the goal. For the Blue Alliance, 38247C was was doing match load but then got on the line so they had to line themselves back up to do match loads. The other, the other Blue Robot is trying to contest the match loads of 7830K but seems to not be tall enough in order to do so successfully. It seems like most Blue has so far had a been more successful in doing their match loads, so there are more tri balls on the blue side of the field, but red may attempt to change this. Red is using their wings to try to push the tri balls over to the over to their side of the field that blue just sent. And blue has opted to double zone, trying to score as many as they can uh, into their goal while under red defense from 7830K. In the meantime, 1096E has remained uncontested this whole game and has scored a significant number of tri balls into the red alliance goal. One of the Blue Alliance robots has now crossed over into the red side, trying to stop 1096E from scoring and trying to get as many as they can into the into the goal. Now both red robots, the red robots have now opted to double zone, trying to score in as many as they can into the goal, while the blue robots have also double zone. So we now have two blue robots on the blue side and two red robots on the red side, all trying to score into their goal. It seems like it's going to be a pretty close match, but currently red seems to have more more in their goal as they spent the most time trying to, to score into the into their goal right at the beginning of this match. With 10 seconds left, none of the teams seem to li be lining up to park and are all instead trying to score the, a, last, la a last few try balls into the goal. And that is time. We have the results from qualification match 58 with red winning 
by a small margin, 56 to 49. Now moving on to qualification match 60. On the red alliance we have 65888B and 99500D. On the blue alliance we have 10054A and 38247A. It seems the teams are still getting set up, but we'll begin shortly. This is the last qualification match of the day, but we will have one replay, and then we'll, we'll soon after have alliance selections. All four teams are ready. Autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. It seems both blue robots and one red robot has an autonomous. However, none, none of the robots successfully got a tri ball into the goal. Actually, it turns out the red robot has now scored the blue tri ball into the goal, meaning blue will most likely win autonomous. Blue crossed the line, so red has one autonomous, the autonomous bonus. Seems we have a dispute and we will have to resolve this before we begin driver control. It seems Blue has actually won autonomous because they've scored more points. Driver control beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. On the red alliance, we have 99500G lined up in the corner looking at the match load, while 6588B uh, appears to be pushing tri balls into the field, into the goal. On the blue alliance, we have 38247A just getting lined up for the to do their own match loads, while 10054A looks to score into the goal. Both teams have opted not to not to contest the people 
uh, match loading, so it will probably come down to who whoever can match load quick, more faster, and more accurately. Currently, it seems more like most of the match loads have ended up on the blue red side of the field, so it's like the red currently holds the lead. Blue has now finished their autonomous, has finished their match loading, and is now pushing tribals across and over the over the barrier in order to win, get as many points as possible. It appears that the Red Alliance is currently in violation of the multiple possession rule, but they they knocked one of the tribals out of the robot and are now okay. 99500D of the Red Alliance has also now finished their doing their match loads and are trying to push tribals from the blue side to the red side. While the two blue robots, satisfied with how many tribals they have on their side of the field, have now double zoned to push into the goal. Now one blue robot 382475A has gone over to the to the red side and is pushing tribals across while they're being contested by 99500D. For a second they tip but their robot is designed in such a way where even if they tip over they will tip back up. With 10 seconds left in this match it's looking very likely that blue will win given how many more tribals they have in the goal. None of these teams appear to have any mechanism to in order to hang so blue so they instead push into tribals into the goal and that is time. We have the results from qualification match 59, 132 to 85, with the Red Alliance winning. Okay, I can call them. Can call them. Can we call them? Now moving on to the final qualification match of the day, the replay of qualification match 50. On the red alliance we have 1096D and 99067KX, and on the blue alliance we have 1096B and 100554E. We have one team finishing up getting ready, and then we'll begin the autonomous period. It seems all four teams are ready. One second. Autonomous period begins in, will begin in three, two, one, go. Both red robots have an autonomous trying to score the 
their alliance tribal into the goal. Well, one of the blue robots seemed to, seemed to have a similar autonomous, but has not currently worked. It seems red has one auton likely one autonomous, and indeed red has one autonomous bonus. Driver control starting in three, two, one, go. For the blue alliance, we have 1096B in the corner trying to match load. And on the opposite side, 10054E trying to stop the red alliance from match loading. Or, or actually, they are trying to score into the goal. For the red alliance, we have 1096D trying to match load. While on the opposite side, 99067X tries to stop the match loading of the blue alliance. Now we have two, two robots. Uh, we have two robots, one from each side trying to match load. And one, uh, two robots trying to score into the goal. Except actually red has now opted to double zone on the blue side of the field trying to push as many tribals as they can to their side Both red red alliance robots continue to push tribals across the, the barrier while blue being the only robot on the red side of the field uh, 1096 B continues to push tribals over the across the barrier Unfortunately 9906 7 has now gone to the red side of the field and is pushing tribals into their goal It appears that the red robot uh, 1096D has gotten themselves stuck on the edge, but they are now they are now no longer stuck. And now there's a fight between 1096B and 1096D over who can push the push the tri ball across the across the other side. However, 1096B had to move to the other side because it's the last 30 seconds, meaning the elevation bars are protected. We're having we have a similar number of tri balls in each in each goal. So it'll come down to these last few seconds, who can win? It seems that none of the teams have any um, have any elevation capabilities, so they're all trying to get a, a last few tri balls into the goal before the end of the match. And that is time. That concludes our qualification matches. Uh, we will have, be having our alliance selection at 345. Once again, teams, align selection to 345, so be, please be ready by then. Thank you. 
Testing, testing. Teams, will, we're looking to start skill. We're looking to start alliance selection at 350. We need each team to send one representative to, to stand over here against these uh, these fences uh, in in order to do, uh, in order to do alliance selection. Teams, please only send one representative. Each team, one person. Now. Over there. Attention all teams. Alliance selection will be beginning soon. Please send one representative over to the fields for alliance selection. Alright teams, Alliance Selection is starting, so please send one representative to stand where I am standing right now so we can begin Alliance Selection shortly. One representative for your team, go ahead and line up over here, thank you. Starting the elimination tournament soon, a lot more of you are going to be in the spectator stands. As a friendly reminder, please make sure you're not standing in front of the fields during the matches, so that way the most amount of people can watch the matches as they're happening. So please make sure you're sitting down in the stands, not standing. Also, please, no parents in the competition area. So once your students go to set up their robots, stay away. 
two more things you may have seen on your table when you first arrived here that we are still looking for volunteers for both the high school state championship and the middle school state championship. Uh, currently, we're still in need of about 49 volunteers for middle school states and 60 for high school states. So, if you're a middle school student, we'd love to have you at high school states. And normally, I would say high school students, we'd love to have you at middle school states, but I know none of you are here because you're on middle school teams. Um, regardless, we also need help finding judges. So, if you have any connections with your company or you know other parents who would be interested in judging, we appreciate that. Hey guys, go run your robots right now, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, also, also, kind of an extra ask, if you are super interested, you are loving Vex Robotics. For those of you that don't know, I'm part of 18 by 18 AZ, we're a nonprofit. All of the technology that you kind of see set up that we've spent a lot of money brewing over a long time. Um, we offer a service where we go out to tournaments and we help set up the technology so that way you can have a live stream, the electronics, and also we generally help with volunteering as well. We are in desperate need of more help. Right now it's primarily two of us, there are others as well, but two of us consistently every weekend, and it's been a lot, and it's not sustainable. So if you are interested in joining 18 by 18 as is a key volunteer, so if you're interested in head repping, judge advising, if you're interested in running the technology behind the scenes, anything, or even just logistics, like I, you're really, you, you know someone or you're good at you know, managing a nonprofit, we need help. So if you have, if you know anyone who's interested, please talk to myself, obviously I'm very busy for the next little bit, but after the tournament, or if Alan is also not busy, he's also your go-to to talk to. But we really appreciate the help if that's something you would be interested in. Enough about that. Let's go ahead and wait, or let's go ahead and do the part y'all are interested in. So, alliance selection. During alliance selection, there is one rule and one rule only. Should you decline an invitation from another team, you cannot accept an invite from someone else. So let's say the number one seed alliance invites the number four team. The number four team says, no, we would like to form our own alliance. That's fine but then they can no longer accept an invitation from two or three. So decline at your own risk. That being said, let's go ahead and invite our number one seated team, Team 7830A. Who would you like to invite? 2627E. 2627E. We accept. They accept. All right, captains of our number two alliance will be 1096E. Come on down. All right, who would you like to invite? 7830K. 7830K. As a nice. They accept. They accept. Captains of our number three alliance will be team 7830 and no. We would like to invite 7830C tagline. 7830C is a cap. Yeah. We accept. They accept. Captain of our number four line is going to be 1096A Alpha. Yeah. I'd like to invite 7830E. 7830E, as in pizza. We
set. Okay, captains of our number five alignment.
10054E Epsilon. Okay, captains of our number 10 alliance, we're going to be 1096D. And 96D Delta. This is heavy. Dude, I need someone else to carry this. Okay. 
would like to invite Team 6588A, Alpha. Number 15 lines is going to be Team 7751D Delta. Be accept. All right. Captains of our final alliance going to be team 10054D Delta. going to go ahead and get the elimination tournament started here at let's just say 420 if you're in the first three matches please make sure you make your way onto the field otherwise do we have a way for them to check if their lines are correct or no okay so hopefully they're good otherwise good luck to everyone in the elimination tournament let's find out who wins this thing
Testing. Testing. Teams, we are starting the elimination matches soon, so if you're in the first three matches, please start making your way to the, onto the fields now. In particular, we're looking for, for the first match, 7830A, 10054D, and 99500A.
Testing, testing. We're getting ready for our first elimina elimination match of the day. On the red alliance, we have the first seeded alliance, 2627E and 7830A. And on the blue alliance, we have the 16th seeded alliance with 10054D and 99500A. Remember, Remember teams in elimination, it is the best of one, so whoever wins this match will advance, and whoever loses will be eliminated from the tournament. One of the team's blades was just sticking out of size, so once they fix the issue, we'll then begin the our first elimination match. Thank you. 
It's, it seems all teams are ready, so we're ready to start the first elimination match of the day. Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. It seems three of the teams have a have an autonomous with the with red with one red robot scoring into the goal and the other red robot trying to push tri balls into onto the opposite side of the field. It seems that red may have potentially crossed the line. Uh, actually, red at, red red wins the autonomous bonus. Now onto driver control. Beginning in three, two, one, go. On the blue alliance, we have 99500A in the corner trying to match load, and their alliance has come to defend them, 10054D. On the red alliance, both robots have opted to try to score into the goal instead of doing their match loading at the moment, in order to make sure they, they are able to build a lead up early. This is the first, the first match is between the first and the 16th seeded alliance. So the first, so the red team is the favor, are the favorites to win, but the blue team may be able to pull off a, a uh, an upset victory. So far, however, it's the red alliance has scored significantly more into their goal and are currently winning. We have one robot on each side of the field for each team, both trying to play, both playing defense against each other. Um, now the red robot 2627E has gone and s gone to match load, satisfied that they have cleared the field of the of as many tri balls as they can. Their alliance partner 7830A remains on the red side of the field, trying to score into the goal, but it appears that one side of their drive train is now broken, meaning they cannot move far from their spot. Although although there is only one red robot currently able to move around the field, they are still able to they are still able to hold their lead. It is now the last 30 seconds. So teams that go to elevate will be protected, and we will see if any teams opt to go for an elevation this match. The one remaining red, the one red robot that can move around the field, 2627E, is now on the blue side, trying to move tribals over, and has began the elevation. We will see if they're able to hold their elevation until until uh, the match is over. Three, two, one, and that's time. It seems that Red has been able to hold their elevation and will likely win this match. Moving on to our second elimination match, we have on the on the Red Alliance, the eighth seeded team, three, the eighth seeded alliance, three eight two four seven C with nine nine zero six seven X, and on the blue we have the ninth seeded alliance. Composing of 10054C and 10054E. All teams are ready. Autonomous begins in 3, 2, 1, go. It seems all four teams have an autonomous this this match. However, only the, the red alliance the red alliance look to score in the goal. The blue lines instead set themselves up to immediately start match loading as soon as the match begins. Red wins autonomous bonus. Uh, driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. So on the blue lines, we see 10054C have already gotten themselves set up to, to match load. And on the opposite corner, red, the red alliance 38247C have also now set themselves up. However, the blue team is, is, currently, uh, is currently contesting their match loading and they've chosen to stop match loading. In the other corner, 99067X tries to has tried to push the blue robot out of their match load zone. However, the blue robot has a strategy to keep themselves well within the match load zone so they cannot be pushed out. As they were, were being contested match loading, the red alliance robots have now opted to both try to push tri balls instead. One go one red robot is pushing tri balls into the goal while the other red robot pushes tri balls over the barrier. Meanwhile, the blue alliance we see on one side of the field. Um, 10054E pushing into the goal, while on the other side of the field, 10054C is fighting 38247C, both trying to get their tri balls to their side of the field. So far, it seems as though the Blue Alliance has been winning, winning this pushing battle, getting the tri balls over to their side, but it seems they're struggling to get the tri balls actually into their goal. At the moment, Red, Red has more tri balls in their goal while blue has more trials on their field, so it's really anyone's game. As of the last 30 seconds, teams now must must be wary of 
They are elevation bar and do have the option to begin their elevation. Red has opted to, at the last minute, start match loading to gain extra points. We'll see if the strategy ends up paying off. So far, they are being contested by a blue robot, but the blue robot seems unable to stop them. And that is time. It seems that Red has likely won this match with having more tribals on their side of the field and in their goal. And we have the, the results from the first elimination match with the Red Alliance having a decisive victory, 108 to 17. Now on to our third elimination our third elimination match. On the red alliance, we have the fourth seeded, seeded alliance, 1096A and 1096C. On the blue side, we have the, the 13th seeded alliance, 30372A and 6588C. As in the first match, the red alliance uh, are the clear favorites to win because of their seeding, but the blue alliance may, have, may be able to pull off an upset. Now that we all have safety glasses, we're ready to begin this the third elimination match. Autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. It seems that both red robots have an autonomous to score the alliance tribal, and one of the blue robots has an autonomous. This means that red will likely win the autonomous bonus this match. Red has, Red has won the autonomous bonus. Driver control begin in three, two, one, go. For the red team, 1096A has lined up in the corner and it began match loading while their alliance 1096C is scoring those tri tribals into the goal. Meanwhile, on the blue side, 30372A is just finishing setting up in order for them to match load while their alliance 6588C is looking to, to score tribals into, into their goal. 1096A has finished tri finished their tribals, meaning finished their match loading. So meaning both red robots can now look to score to into their goals. Both blue robots have also the two blue robots have opted to double zone, trying to score into their goal. But unfortunately, red has taken all of their all of the tribals over to the red side of the field, meaning blue has few tribals to actually score. Meanwhile, the red team 1096C is uncontested on the red side and is has been free to score tri balls into the goal all game, amounting to a sizable lead for the Red Alliance. Blue has decided to to, to send a, one robot over to the Blue Alliance, blue, the, the red side, trying to bring tri balls back to the blue side. However, it's, however, they seem to be having trouble actually getting those tri balls into the goal. In the meantime, Red Alliance has continued having one robot score into the goal and having the other robot contest the tri balls. Unfortunately for Blue Alliance, it appears Red Alliance has a stronger drivetrain and has been pushing 
and has been able to push all the tribals away. Be it being the last 15 seconds, it is now time for teams to potentially elevate. However, teams, none of the teams actually have an mechanism to elevate. With Red Alliance having significantly more tribals in the field, it's looking like Red will likely win this match in the with only a few seconds left remaining. That concludes the, our third elimination match. So we have the results from uh, our round of 16 match two with the Red Alliance winning 114 to 56 and advancing to the quarterfinals where they will face the first seed of the Alliance. Moving on to round match four of the round of sixteen, on the on the red alliance with the fifth with the fifth seeded alliance seven eight thirty p and three eight two four seven t. On the blue side we have the twelfth seeded alliance seven two seven five one a and seven two seven five one c. All teams are ready. Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. It seems both red robots have an autonomous, while only one blue robot has the autonomous. This means that red will likely win the autonomous bonus, having two tribal scored to red uh, zero or one. <laughs> red wins autonomous bonus. Driver control in three, two, one, begin. On the red side, we have three uh, 7830P trying to uh, do their match loads, but they're being contested by 72751C. On the opposite corner of the field, we have 7251A trying to do their match loads, being contested by 3H4247T. It seems that 7830P took a break from match loading, but has returned now that uh, 72751C has gotten stuck. On the opposite side, 7251A has taken up the strategy of launching into the lane so that they can then drive down the lane of the of the field in order to just get their, their tribals to their field because their match loader can't quite reach all the way across the field. In the meantime, the two red robots have now double zoned, being satisfied with the amount of match loads they've sent to the, to the side of the field. So they appear to now be fighting... A, they appear to be in a little bit... Uh, being in, in each other's way a little bit. The blue robots have now also double zone with the one the one blue robot that can move trying to score into the goal while 7830P of the red alliance try, tries to stop them. In the meantime, the one the other red robot 38247G remains uncontested and are are freely able to score into the red alliance goal. So far it seems like red has a slight lead as Blue has only had one robot moving around for this match. With 15 seconds left, it seems like none of the teams are going to go for elevation are instead going to continue trying to score, score try balls for the remainder of the, the match. It seems we're going to have an extremely close match for this one. We have the results from match three of the round of 16 with the red, the third seeded red alliance advancing 114 to 14. Now on to match five of the round of 16. We have on the red alliance the second seeded team, the second seeded team of 1096E and 7830K against the blue team uh, with with the the 15th seeded alliance 6588B and 72751D. Thumbs up for both teams. 
All teams are ready. Autonomous beginning in three, two, one, go. As with our previous matches, it seems both red robots have an autonomous trying to score into the goal. However, only one of them are successful. Uh, the red will still red will still win the autonomous bonus as only as neither blue robot has scored any points in this autonomous. Red wins autonomous. Driver control starting in three, two, one, begin. On the red alliance, we have in the corner 7830K trying to launch tri balls across the field with their flywheel while their alliance partner 1096E score, tries to score into the goal. Unfortunately for the blue alliance, it seems one of their robots, 72751G, is, is disabled. While their other robot 56588D is trying to score the tri balls into the goal. In the meantime, the red alliance has, has been uncontested in their in their their combo of having one team launch tri balls while the other team pushes into the goal, leaving red team with a with a clear lead at the beginning of this match. Having finished their tri balls, their match loads, 7830K has now moved to the other side of the field and are double zoned with their alliance tri partner trying to score as many as they can into the goal. In the meantime, 72751G has started working and they, they are putting tri balls into the lane at the edge of the field in order to push them down. However, 1096E has stormed down the lane trying to push trying to push the tri balls. Unfortunately though, 1096E has flipped over and can no longer move. It will be up to the referees whether or not that was an intentional or egregious tipping. Now these two robots have gotten stuck each on each other, leaving only 658A free to move. It seems three robots in this match have, are gone stuck, and we'll see very little action for the remaining 10 seconds of this match, with no elevation and no scoring remain. Having far more tri balls in their goal, Red Alliance is very likely to win this match. And that's time. We have the results from uh, match four of the round of 16 with Red Alliance winning 94 to 59 and advancing to the quarterfinals, where they will where they will face the fourth seeded alliance. Now on to our sixth match in the round of 16. On the red alliance, we have the seventh seated alliance of 38247A and 10054A. On the blue side, we have the, the tenth seated alliance of 1096B and 99500B. Autonomous period beginning in 3, 2, 1, begin. It seems all four teams in this match have autonomous, but so far, none of them, except for potentially the red team, have actually scored any of their tri balls into their goal.
Blue, has, Blue wins the autonomous bonus. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. On the blue, on the blue alliance, we have 99500B in the corner, ready to match load. And their alliance 1096D is contesting the match loading of the red alliance. We have uh, on the red alliance 38247A is looking to do their match loads, but they're being contested by the tall left of 1096D. Now on on the other side, 10054A is looking has now looked to contest 99500B, but it seems they're not tall enough, so they have gone back to scoring into the goal. 1096D seems to, oh sorry, 38247A seems to have given up on match loading and are now trying to push balls down the lane. However, 99500B has met them in the lane at the end, edge of the field, looking to push, looking to push the tri balls back to their side, resulting in a pushing war between these two robots. Now 38247A has set themselves up to start match loading on the opposite side. However, 1096 D was right there to meet them, to try to stop them. In the meantime, 10054A has gone completely uncontested, trying to score tri balls into their goal for this match, giving them a substantial amount of tri balls in, the, in their goal. With 30 seconds remaining in this match, both teams seem to have scored about the same number of points, so it comes down to these last few seconds. Both teams have the option of looking to elevate, however, they probably... It seems like no one has any mechanism to actually get themselves elevated, so they're focusing on scoring. With five seconds left to go, bo both teams are get looking to get just a couple more in before time runs out, and that is time. Looks like this one will be a very close match. We have the results from the, uh, the round of 16-5, with once again the higher city alliance winning 128-14. Now on to our second to last round of 16 match. On the red alliance, we have the third seed. We have the third seeded alliance, 7830C and 7830N. The, the challengers on the blue alliance are from the, the, 14, are the 14th seed, 72751E and 6588A. It seems all four teams are ready. Autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, begin. All four teams seem to have an autonomous looking to score their tri ball in the goal, but it seems only the red robots were successful in this. Red wins autonomous. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. So far in all of the elimination matches, we have only seen the Red Alliance winning with zero upsets. However, this may be the match to change that. For the Red Alliance, we have 7830N in the corner trying to trying to do match loads while their Alliance 7830C tries to score those match loads into the goal. 
On for the Blue Alliance, we have both Blue Robots have gone to their side of the field and are looking to score into the Blue Goal. The Red Alliance has, been, has quickly finished all of their match loads and are now looking to double zone and score as many tri balls as they can, which are already on the red side, but then taking them into the red goal. Blue Alliance has, has also remained double zones, looking to score as many tri balls as they can, but it seems they've exhausted all of the tri balls on their side of the field, so they will need to go to the red side of the field in order to grab more tri balls. Unfortunately for them, however, Red has finished going. Red has placed most of their tri balls from their side of the field and I've already gone them into the goal, leaving a few for the blue to pick up. With red having significantly more tribals on the goal, they are currently leading this match by a large amount, but we'll see if the blue alliance is able to do anything to catch up. They are now 30 seconds remaining in this match, meaning the elevation bar is protected. It seems that it seems that one of the red robots, 7830N, is lining up for a hang and have seems to have gotten the hang, but we'll see if they, they are able to stay hang, hung for the, the last 10 seconds of this match. In the meantime, all of the tri balls on the field have been basically cleared, meaning that Red has very, very likely won this match, having, having gotten most of the tri balls. And that is time.
Final match of round of 16 on the red alliance. On the red alliance, we have the six, the six seed, 38247B and 99067T. On the blue alliance, we have the 11th seed, 1096B and 10054B. All teams are ready. Autonomous beginning in three, two, one, go. It seems both red robot have has the autonomous. Both red robots have autonomous. However, unfortunately, the, the red robot has crossed to the opposite side of the field, meaning blue will automatically win it to the autonomous bonus. Inside the field. Blue wins autonomous. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. On the red alliance, we have 38247B in the corner doing their match loads, while their alliance partner tries to stop blue from doing their match loads. On the blue alliance, we have 1096, 1096B trying to do their match loads, but they're being contested by the red alliance. The other blue alliance robot is now trying to contest the red match loading. However, red has already gone through most, almost half of their match loads, and they seem undeterred by the blue interference. In the meantime, blue has finished all of their match loads because the red robot left left the defense and they are now moving to the other side of the field in order to score in order to score as many tri balls as they can. The two red robots have double zoned on the red side of the field trying to push all the tri balls into their goal that they just match loaded all across. There are no more match loads left in this game meaning both it will simply be a matter of pushing for the rest of the game. We're still red seeing that blue was double zoned has now come over to the other side of the field looking to potentially de-score blue rope uh, blue um, blue tri balls it seems they have gotten a a clean de-score on on blue because blue was double zoned they may be looking to de-score some more tri balls depending on whether blues whether or not blue stays double zoned in the meantime the red robot continues to tr oh it seems red has now de-scored another a significant amount of the tri balls in the blue zone in the meantime, the, the, the other red robot was uncontested in scoring into their goal. With 10 seconds left of this match, it's looking like red is winning by a significant margin because they were able to de-score all of those tri balls that were in the red-blue goal. With three seconds left to go, there's very little these teams can now do. Time is up. We have the results of uh, match of the sixth round of 16 round with our first upset of the day. The 10th seeded alliance uh, has won 62 to 60 and will advance to face the, the second seeded alliance in quarter finals. To our first quarterfinals match of the day, we have on the red on the red side the first seeded alliance of 7830A and 2627E. On the blue side, we have the eighth seeded alliance of 38247C and 99067X.
All teams are ready. Autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. All four teams in this quarterfinals match now have autonomous. As with the blue, with the red alliance scoring extra tri balls into the goal, I mean they will likely win the autonomous period. Red wins autonomous. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. For the blue side, we have 3A247C in the corner during the match loads while their alliance tries to push those those tri balls into the into their field. On the red alliance, the red alliance is continuing their strategy of match load of saving their match loads for later. First contesting the tri balls that are already on the field before going for the going for match loads once the field is already clear. The two red robots have now double zoned, but the blue zone blue robot was able to score one tri ball in that period. However, the, the red robots saw that and were able to stop double zoning. Currently, we have one. Currently, the the red robot 2627E is looking to now do their match loads, having cleared most of the balls on the field. And they have, unfortunately, one of the blue robots seems to be stuck on their license plate and will are will not be able to move very much in this match. In the meantime, the other red robot is scoring into the goal while being contested by by the blue robot 99067X. Fortunately for the blue alliance, the red robot actually got their other robot unstuck, meaning all four robots are now moving. Two, the blue, two blue robots have actually now double zoned on the red side, looking to play defense against the red, red robot. Unfortunately for them, with 20 seconds left in this match, they are unlikely to make a comeback as red has has almost completely filled their goal with tri balls. The blues, well, blue has only very few tri balls in their goal. Blues is still trying though, with them getting a last few match match loads off in the last seconds of the match. And 2627E of the red alliance have now hung, mean they will likely get a 20 point bonus for hanging. And that is time. We have the results of the last round of 16 match with the six seeded alliance winning 105 to 73 and advancing to the quarterfinals. Now on to our second, the second quarterfinals match of today. On the red alliance, we have the the four seeded alliance with 1096A A and 1096C. On the blue alliance, we have the the 12 seeded alliance uh, with seven. Oh, sorry, the fifth seeded alliance with 7830P and 38247D. Between the fourth and the five, fifth seed, this is going to be an extremely close match. All teams are ready. Autonomous beginning in three, two, one, go. It seems all four teams being being high seated all have autonomous. However, red seems to have uh, potentially scored more points unless they cross into the 
into their side, into the blue goal. Autonomous tie. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. In one corner, we have the blue alliance 7830P trying to launch tri balls across the field, but they're being contested by the red alliance's 1096C. On the opposite corner, we have 1096A of the red alliance doing their match loads while being contested by the blue alliance. It seems the blue alliance has decided they're not they're not tall enough to contest the red match loading and have begun pushing tri balls into their goal. In the meantime, the blue alliance have almost completely finished their match loads and have now gone towards pushing. The red alliance has now also finished, has all completely finished their match loads, and all four robots are now moving around the field trying to push tri balls into their goal and onto their side of the field. Uh, they have both, neither team has opted to double zone so far, except now 7830P has moved over the blue side, meaning they're now double zone. Looking to score as many points as they can in the in their goal at risk of being descored though, however. On the red side of the field, 1096C is completely uncontested in their scoring in the goal. So far there seems to be significant numbers of tri balls in both in both sides goal, meaning this will be an extremely close match. 30, with 30 seconds left, the, the alliance elevation bars are now protected. But it seems that no team will it is most likely that no teams will go for go for a hang. There seems to be a scuffle on this side of the field with two blue robots and one red robot trying to push tri balls over to the opposite side of the field. In the meantime, 1096C continues to have free reign to push tri balls into the red goal. And the time seems time is out. This seems to like it will be an extremely close match. We have the results from the first quarter finals match with Red Alliance winning a decisive victory, 178 to 57, and advancing to the semifinals. Now onto the third quarter finals match. On the Red Alliance, we have the, the second seed 1096E and 7830K, and on the Blue Alliance, we have the 10th seed 1096D and 99500B. All teams are ready. Autonomous beginning in three, two, one, go. Once again, all four, all four teams seem to have some sort of autonomous, a trend that I will likely continue for the remainder of the elimination matches. So far, it seems like Blue Alliance, seems like Red Alliance is winning. However, we will see the, for the actual results. Red has one autonomous. Red has one autonomous. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. On the, in one corner, we have the Red Alliance 7830K looking to do their match loads, but they're being blocked by the tall lift of 1096D. On the opposite corner, we have 99500B of the Blue Alliance looking to do their match loads, and they remain uncontested. The other Red Alliance robot 1096E has opted to instead try to score into the, into the goal rather than interrupt the, the match loading. In the other corner, the two robots are continuously having a tussle over over the match loading, but it seems like the red robot may, may be looking to do something other than match loading now. They have started pushing the tri balls over to the right side of the field because they seem they felt like they were unable to match load because of the blue alliance's defense. Now the the blue alliance has have finished doing their match loading, leaving both robots open to to push tri balls. The blue alliance tried to stop 1096D E from pushing into the goal and have now trapped 1096E. We have so far one robot in each for each alliance on each side of the field with one trying to push tri balls over and the other tri robot trying to score into the goal. It looks like both blue robots went over the red side briefly but are now returning to their side. Red alliance has finally has gone back to try to do their match loads but they're being once again blocked by the blue alliance. In the meantime, very few tri balls have gotten the. Neither team has ha had the opportunity to score many tri balls in their goal, leaving both both goals mostly empty. With 10 seconds left in the match, neither team seems to be going for 
elevation and are all instead looking to score into their goal. In the final few seconds, the, red, the blue robot has tipped and time is up. It looks like this will be another extremely close match. We have the results for the second quarter finals. 1096A and 1096C, the, the four seeded Lions have have beaten the fifth seeded Lions and will advance to the semifinals where they will face the first seeded Lions. On to our, the final quarterfinals match of the day. On the red side, we have the third seeded alliance of 7830N and 7830C. And on the blue side, we have the six seeded alliance of 38247B and 99067T. The teams are just finishing getting set up and then we'll begin the match. over the field trying to see whether or not the robot has crossed the line. It appears they are okay. With that, all teams are ready to go. And Autonomous will begin in, in three, two, one, go. All four teams have an Autonomous looking to score straight into the goal and appear to be otherwise done. This will come down to whether or not these four tri balls are scored and whether or not the teams have crossed into the into the, the, the opposite team's goal while trying to score the tri balls. Red wins the autonomous because blue entered the red goal. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. In one corner of the field, we have the red alliance 7830N trying scoring with their extremely tall uh, flywheel and the blue alliance is unable to stop them. In the opposite corner, we have 38247B of the blue alliance doing the same with the with the other with the red alliance opting not to stop them either. The blue alliance have now double zoned with one robot looking just to bring all the robot all the tribals from the red side to the blue side. However, at the edge of the board, they're being contested by the red alliance's 7830N. Blue has now finished doing all their match loads and are now. And are, and are now looking to score into the, the field, into the goal. In the meantime, the other blue robot play, was playing defense, but is now looking to double zone on the blue side of the robot. Unfortunately for Red, 7830N appears to have gotten themselves stuck on the tri on a tri ball and are unable to and are unable to move. This leaves 7830C as the only Red Alliance robot moving in this match, and they are currently trying to score as many tri balls as, as they can into their goal. So far, it seems like it's an extremely close match. However, Red Red only has one robot to Blue's two. Actually, it appears Blue has, has accidentally gone Red unstuck, but uh, has partly gone Red unstuck, but Red se uh, still seems to be somewhat stuck. Blue, realizing that Red is double zoned, has swept through the Red Alliance goal and caused them to get on caused them extreme amounts of D-score. Red has now got, gotten themselves unstuck and hung, making this an extremely close match. Red lowered a little bit, but it still remains hanging, so they will get the 20 point bonus.
Your, note, your notebooks are on the tables over by the, are, are now on the queuing tables if you would please pick them up.
It seems uh, the scoring disputes have finally been resolved and we're moving on to semifinals match one. On the red alliance, on the red side we have the first seated alliance 2627E and 7830A. 
On the blue alliance, we have 1096A and 1096C, the fourth seeded alliance. Whoever wins this match will advance to the finals and qualify for the state championship. All teams are ready. Autonomous period beginning in three, two, one, go. All four robots seem to have an autonomous to score their tri ball into their goal. However, 2627E is also scoring extra tri balls into the goal, meaning Red will likely win a the autonomous bonus. Red wins autonomous driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. On the blue, on the in the blue match load zone, we have 1096A trying to score as many tri balls as possible, but 7830A of the red alliance have have gone come out to block them. In the opposite corner, um, the red alliance seems to simply be pushing tri balls across as they continue their strategy of pushing as many tri balls as they can into their goal before they go to match load. In the meantime, blue continues to match load, but faces heavy contact, heavy pressure and contact from 7830A. Both both of the remaining red and blue. Uh, robots have opted to try to try to score as many as they can on the on the goal, as they're of the very few tribals that are on the field. It seems that most of the tribals on the field have gone and been exhausted, so 2672E has is now going to do their match loads, which they waited for the first minute to do. They're with a using a slapper, they're extremely fast and consistent as compared to the flywheels, and having used about half of their match loads, they are now going to make sure they all get into the goal before they return to the match loading zone. In the meantime, Blue appears to be double zoning to try to get as the last few tribals that are on their side of the field into their goal. It is now the last 30 seconds. It is likely that some of these teams will, being high seated, will go for a, um, a hang. 2627E is now do doing the last few match loads and li now lining up for their for their hang. It seems as though blue red the red alliance has gone significantly more tri balls into their goal and they achieve the hang so red will likely win this match. We have the results from the quarterfinals match for the blue alliance despite some amount of some a minor violation have won 123 to 109 upsetting upsetting the third seeded alliance as the as the sixth seeded alliance they will be facing they will be facing the second seeded alliance of 1096 e and 7830k in the semifinals Moving on to the, the second semifinals match, on the red side we have the second seeded alliance of 1096E and 7830K, and on the blue side we have the sixth seeded alliance of 38247B and 99067T. Like the other semifinals match, whoever wins this match will qualify for the state championship. All teams are ready. Moving on to autonomous period in three, two, one, go. All four robots have an autonomous. However, it seems only the red team was successfully able to get their tri balls into the into the into their goal. Red wins autonomous. Driver control beginning in three, two, one, go. 
in one corner of the field. We have the Blue Alliance at their match loading zone, 38247B, trying to get as many match loads off as possible. While in the opposite corner, the Red Alliance, the Red Team, 7830K, is also trying to do match loads. 99067T is now, is now trying to push 7830K off of their spot. While the other team, 1096E, has opted instead of trying to push off their spot to just score into the goal. It seems it seems as though the Red Alliance has decided to temporarily stop match and, and to instead try to push as many try balls as they can onto their side of the field. Blue Alliance has finished all of their match loads and have now gone to their side of the field trying to trying to get as many as they can into their goal. 7830K of the Red Alliance have returned to their have returned to to their match loading station and are now doing the, the remainder of their match loads. However, they are continually contested. They have continued. They are now contested by 9906MT. In the meantime, the other two robots of the red and blue side have, are both trying to score as many points as they can into the goals. 7830K has once again moved away from the match loading zone and instead opting to play as much defense as they can. With 30 seconds left in this match, the the. The match load zones are now protect the elevation bars are now protected and it's looking to be an extremely close match. Red Alliance seems to have double zone, which may be a risk as 9067T last match ended up winning because they were able to de-score a significant amount of try balls at the very end of the match. However, it seems they've gotten themselves stuck and will be unable to de-score. Leaving this as an extremely close match. None of the four teams look to be elevating, and that is the time for this match. It seems as the second seed Red Alliance has won this match 110 to 77 and are advancing to the, the finals of this tournament.
Getting ready for the final match of this tournament. All four teams have already have already qualified for the state tournament just by being here. So they're simply they're both they're simply competing for the glory of tournament champion. On the red alliance, we have the first seeded alliance of 2627E and 7830A. And on the blue alliance, we have the second seeded alliance of 1096E and 7830K. At this time, we would like to remind audience members that it, to please sit down in the stands so, you, so as to not block block uh, the people in the stands' view. Teams are ready. Autonomous is beginning in three, two, one, go. Being the highest seeded alliance teams at this tournament, all four robots have a have a good autonomous, but it appears so far that red red has scored more more points so far. Blue is also trying to score extra dry balls into the goal, but it seems that red was red was successful. Red wins autonomous. Driver control starting in three, two, one, go. This being a best of one match, whoever wins this match wins the whole the whole tournament. In one corner we have 7830K lighting up to do their 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 match loading while 7830A uses their lift to try to block them. The Red Alliance has continued their strategy. They've used all of Elims where they wait to do their match loading until later. Actually, it turns out that 26270 is actually is now lining up to potentially do their match loading, but they're being blocked by 1096E. So instead, the red alliance has, is instead looking to push the tri balls that the blue alliance is launching back over to the back, back, back over the red side. So far, most of the tri balls have ended up on the red side, but blue still has the opportunity to push a huge number across using the lane. 
In the meantime, 1096E continues to score as many try balls as they can into the blue zone, into the blue goal. Unfortunately for 7830K, they accidentally pushed some try balls over to the, blue, to the red side while they were trying to line up the match load. The blue lines have now double zones looking to try to score as many try balls as they can. In the meantime, the red alliance to 7830A is completely uncontested in their in their scoring of the into the goal. In the meantime, 2627E has gone to the opposite side of the field and is now lined up to do match loaded. With their with their slapper, they are one of the most consistent and fast uh, one of the most consistent uh, launchers in at the tournament. 7830A continues to be uncontested on the red side of the field and has scored significant numbers of tri balls into the goal. With 10 seconds left, 2627E is lining up for a hang, and it seems they probably got it. It's looking like it's going to be a red victory in this match. And with a score of 128 to 39, the tournament champions are the Red Alliance.
Good afternoon. I guess it worked. Okay, so we're going to hand out some awards. I got a great competition today. Thanks for everybody for participating. I don't speak very loud, so I need everybody to be really quiet. So the first, the first judge award for this afternoon is the judge's award. And the definition of that means as follows. The judge's award is presented to a team that is most deserving of special recognition. Judges consider several criteria for this award, including exemplary effort and perseverance at the event, team accomplishments throughout the season, or other factors that may or may not fall under existing award categories. The judges' award is presented to team 1096B, the Techno Panthers.
Thanks, Lord. The design work is presented to the team to demonstrate the most organized and professional approach to the design process, process, budget, and time management, and team organization. The team's engineering notebook provides a clear and complete documentation of the team's robot design process and the development of their game strategy. The winning team also demonstrates effective communication skills and teamwork. The design award is presented to Team 7830K, the ACP Noble Knights. Congratulations. Next is the Robot Skills Champion. The Robot Skills Champion is awarded to the award is presented to the team that has earned the highest combined driving skills challenge score and the autonomous coding skills challenge score. The Robot Skills Champion Award is presented to Team 2627E, demotorized. Team 7830P. Congratulations. 